So guys, guys, welcome in. Welcome in to everyone watching live on Twitch. Uh, if you're listening on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Podcasts, welcome in. Thank you for tuning back in and listening to another episode. So yeah, so as we said, Thomas coming with us today. He's got crippling diarrhea. So he's been... We've seen it. We've seen we've seen his boxers. They are gross. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So he's been unable to make it, and instead of letting you guys down and going, do you know what we can't do a podcast? Me and Joe are like, we've got all these login credentials. All right, let's just let's just send it. Do you know what I mean? Like, we'll send it. Uh, as you can see, Joe's done a bang up job on the overlay. By the way, like, I cooked, like it, I've used yeah. all, all, all three of my brain cells to put that together. <laughs> Knocked them all together. Yeah, that's amazing. But yeah, so guys, we we are in. We are in. So. Let's <laughs> let's not talk about right because because there's one thing you know that I want to talk about. We haven't really spoke about it since, but in <laughs> in Liverpool, I, obviously you know for for the guys in the hang on, is that Matt in the chat? Yeah, it is. Big up. Um, yeah. Matt so in, my <laughs> team. so in in Liverpool, um, the regional, you told us you did a lot of side questing like after oh, the night's out, yeah, and you've never man. actually told me. <laughs> So basically, like, you, you, yeah. So you know, you you're staying with Tim, aren't you? So you always, oh yeah, we're sending it home. We're gonna get a, uh, we're yeah, gonna Uber. get an Uber home or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I just not. I, I'm like, ah, oh, it's not that deep, in it. I'm gonna, uh, I'm just gonna walk yeah. home. Yeah. Uh, side quest enabled. I think we we'll saved. <laughs> I will so we'll save the best one for last. The one that you put on the sheet. I think I'll get yeah. to that last. It, chronologically, it was first, but. Yeah. I think on the Saturday night I had an argument in Taco Bell over someone trying to rob my food. Because <laughs> yeah. you know what, you, I I've been out in like Essex and stuff, and like, Mackey's is active. But I've never seen <laughs> active, I've, I've yeah. never seen ta- I've never seen restaurants at like three in the morning as active as when we're in Liverpool. They are full to the brim. Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, people like us. That's why this guy was like, like yeah, like, yeah, no, no. This guy was like, oh, yeah, here's your food. I was like, yeah, cheers. This bird comes up to me. She's like, that's my food. I'm like, what do you mean that's my? That's your food? That's clearly my food. He said my number. He's like, nah, 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 nah. So we're having some beef about that. There was the night, you know the rain, the night when it was absolutely hammering it down with rain? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, wa- I walked home in that. I was like a drowned rat. And I got yeah, home yeah. to the woman. The, the, obviously, I was staying in a hotel, so <laughs> you stayed in a jail. Or, yeah, I stayed, I stayed. Yeah, I stayed in a hotel room with no windows. But I get in there, and the woman in reception. The woman in reception is like, "Are you okay?" Like, because I'm coming like <laughs> covered in rain. I'm like, "Yeah, I, I just walked home." Yeah. She was like, I'm "Like, oh, this like your bed will be nice and clean, like warm and clean." I was like, "Yeah, cheers, bro. I'm going to bed." Because bear in mind, like, it's about four in the morning. I'm fucking freezing. Hammered. <laughs> yeah, hammered. Because we've ascended it. We that's the emo night, wasn't it? I was sending it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think the worst one was obviously um Liverpool was a last minute booking for me. I sort of booked it two days yeah. before we went. So I was like, ah oh, yeah, that's cool. But I hadn't been out for a while because like, I don't know, yeah, life. So it's like yeah, we yeah. and we were like, oh I was like, we'll ease into it on Friday. No, no, no. We had the train fears up. Big up yeah. the red, big, big up, up the red stripes. stripes. Yeah, I was, he's gonna I was, say I was that. drinking, I was drinking red stripes. I was like, I'd have it easy, and then I'm drinking red stripe on the train. <laughs> yeah, love I'm that. having red love stripe that. on the train, and we sent it yeah, hard but... on Friday because Tim was just yeah. big up Tim. By the way, was taking yeah, us on sure. a tour of thing, and I'm like, shit, yeah. we've got this tournament in the morning. I'm like, oh, I, this is gonna be ropes. I'm the early wave anyway. My alarm yeah. goes off at like half seven in the morning. I'm on the floor of my <laughs> hotel room. I wake up on the floor of my hotel room. Oh, like the bed, yeah. the bed didn't even look touched. I, the, I, I literally managed to get into the hotel room, and I was just asleep on the floor. I don't just even know asleep. what happened. Just, you, using your taco as a fucking pillow. <laughs> I've been to Taco Bell. I had the fucking. I didn't even eat half the food. I woke up and there's like a a quesadilla here. There's a churro there. I'm like, I've, I've actually just slept in a Mexican feast. <laughs> I was like, I need oh. to get in the shower, and all of this Wait, is about yourself... half seven. Wait, that, that, that room that. must have stank of Mexican because there was no windows either. It must have fucking yeah. The air stank. conditioning was on. It was even worse because I woke up freezing because they put the they put the air cod on. I, it was like freezing. <laughs> I was on the floor. I was like, where the fuck am I? Because like, how yeah. do you realize? I'm. You know when you wake up, you're like, what the fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. We're all side questing in this hotel room, slept on the fucking floor. Fucking and hell. My hotel room was on the eighth floor as well. That was oh, a trick tre- so... to get up there. <laughs> that's fucking jokes, man. It was ropes. That was right. the worst one. I must have fallen off the bed of saying, because I was in so much pain that day of the tournament. I, I literally, you should have seen me as I walked towards the like the venue. I was like this. <clears throat> I turned yeah. up. I was like, I, I, I saw um, Gengar Life. I saw Tom. I was like, bro, I don't want to be here. I, I can't <laughs> see. I literally, I was, I, I was trying to catch stuff on the way to see if I could even catch a Pokemon. No, I literally <laughs> couldn't even see the screen. Everything was just like one blurry thing. Oh, that's fucking jokes, man. I'm sorry. I, I can't go with the fact you slept over the floor at your hotel room. Like, I slept you, you on the paid floor. I bed. paid good money for a bed, <laughs> and I'm on the floor. You might, you might as well just slept on a bench. Yeah, <laughs> Save yourself some fucking money. That is fucking jokes, man. But, fucking, no, uh, just... uh, I, I saw you in the morning. And I was like, I was like, you're right, mate. And he was like, no, man. I'm, <laughs> I woke up on the questing. floor. I woke, I woke yeah, up been... on the floor. <laughs> yeah, bro's like, oh, yeah, I've been side questing most of the night. I'm like, what are you on we, about? Only, we go our separate ways, don't we? And I'm just like, it's active yeah. in town on, <laughs> or in the weekend. So you're just seeing people. Yeah, that is so fucking funny, man. That is fucking jokes. <laughs> Sorry, I, just, I can't. Like, you paid for a hotel room. <laughs> I just yeah, like you just you, using a case of ears. And in part pill. of that, in part of that Friday, before oh. any of that, was when Thomas was texting me last Christmas, and I was walking home, and he's ten. Yeah. He, he was like last, <laughs> yeah. he's like last Gatmus or something. I was like, for <laughs> God's sake! Oh, that is fucking funny, man. Sucking side question. Oh, yeah. shocks. Mike, but, um, rules. but yeah, too fair. Speaking of uh, Thomas, that is on on air actually. Um, so I, I've always been because I've not known. Joe for that long for anyone wondering. Uh, um maybe like what, like a few months maybe? Yeah, yeah. I don't like figures, nobody are. <laughs> no. So uh so yeah, I've always meant to ask you like like how you met Thomas and like ah, c- yeah, kind of yeah. got involved with the uh with, uh, with his Twitch. Because you've been mod on his Twitch for a long time, right? Yeah, yeah. So I've known Thomas for a good couple of years now. Ironically we met through um playing Pokemon. We're in a uh yeah. We're in a Discord server together. Big up uh, Colchester and beyond. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't, obviously, I don't live in London. I live listen, just outside. Listen, 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 listen. We don't do free shout outs. All right. All right. We don't this do This is my wage. This shout-outs. is my wage. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Go I on. don't get paid. Go on. Anyway. Yeah. yeah so on. I know him from like, Thomas Looks Chalked. Yeah. Man. Oh, no, no. So Thomas is here. Sw- sw- switch the scene real quick. Switch Quickly the scene. Switch all the right. Scene. Chat. We're just going to run it back to the start for a bit. Oh, yeah, sorry. We, just had, we just had to show Thomas our work. Yeah, anyway, yeah. so me and Thomas are in a... Uh, stream up. A, a, <laughs> nice happy, water, yeah, we, shut yeah, up. Yeah, shut up. Yeah, sorry, me and Tom. Thomas are in a, uh, in a PvP Discord together. And then we first met at one of the London's finest. Actual um, big up. Yeah, big Actual up. Lo- big up London's finest. Big up Adelian. Um, at one of the, regi- at one of the uh, regionals. So then we met there. And then we were just chatting mm-hmm. and stuff. Yeah, and then, uh, uh, brother, I'm gonna need a little bit more to go on. Talk, talk to me, man. Go on. So, 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 uh, and then, so, to, and then he started his Twitch channel, didn't he? And you're just like, oh, let me go support my friend when he's talking to himself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, deep. Bro's running. Bro thinks he runs the channel now. Yeah, I do actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, so, I, I was one of his first subs, did it? Is it nice? Yeah. Nice. yeah, yeah so, because, because, yeah. because, I, I, I think I remember Thomas mentioned. Well, he brings up quite a lot about how about, about how he drank you under the table or something. Bro, you gave me some drink and was like, "Yeah, we were, oh, this was at Worlds at the um the Brew Dog." Oh right, like, yeah, yeah. He was like, "Let's uh, what do you call it? Let's have a uh, see who can see off a pint the fastest." He could send it. Yeah, he he did put he did drink me under the table, but it's been a couple of years now. I've been training up. I think I'm I'm ready You're to draining, smoke. Yeah. I'm ready to smoke him at <laughs> EUIC. Yeah, he, he, or oh, is that is that like fighting talk? Is, is yeah, that what's yeah, going on? He's, here? he's done. We, he's, we he's, he's he's done. I'm, I'm new king. Yeah, I've yeah. finished the beer this time, man. Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Mate, I, 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 I'm sorry, I can't take you seriously in the shirt and tie, man. That is fucking amazing. So for anyone who's listening to this, Joe yeah, is really wearing a shirt and tie. Like, Joe, Joe's turned up ready for the interview. Like, absolutely. Wait, 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 I'll get the hat as well. Just from yeah. the back <laughs> oh, that's so Thomas, funny, man. You can see um, I've tried my best to... Uh... To be you. <laughs> That's it. Oh, 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 you, what you should have done is you should have drawn a badge on your, on your T-shirt. Get the badge in. Yeah, get no, the badge. Thomas was in a, a Discord server for PvP tournaments, and then a friendship blossomed, you know? Beautiful. And now here we yeah. are. I'm, I'm Thomas, yeah. apparently. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah and, and now you're part of the team. Like, yeah. Which is crazy, yeah. Crazy. Um, and now, yeah I, now, I, now I'm friends with the famous Mr. Avalanche, Pokemon United yeah. player. Yeah, but, but mate, that is such an inside joke that no one will understand unless you were there. Like, and the, to be fair, no one needs to know about <laughs> about those because because that game night was fucking chalked. Yeah, they got, they got the game night anyway. Yeah, it was yeah, so me and Thomas are just yeah, so, always now. Yeah, so because I I only met you for the first time in Liverpool, so I probably no, that's, briefly that's, met you that's, at, when, at when we were at GoFest. No, GoFest, bro. We saw you. I was with Thomas, and we was. We Mate, had a chat for that. I was, bro, you sent yeah, me a I picture. You were like, we've got, yeah, no, you were like, oh, I swear we've got a picture together. You sent me a picture. Is this you? I'm like, yeah, that is me. <laughs> yeah. Mate, mate, I was, I was battered at Goldfed. I was battered. I, 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 I could not remember, like, my own name. Like, I was fucking legless at that point. Like, yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was right. You did. I could tell, but we, we met briefly then. But no, Liverpool was the first time we, yeah, we properly met. Yeah. And now it's look at met. us. Here, now, now look at us. Here we are. Yeah, I mean, hey, the, fun, hey, the, 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 ice, the, the icebreaker was the, 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 the red stripe on the train, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. Oh, it was so funny. We, like, so for anyone who doesn't know, we were like proper like reprobates on the train. We were like, we, we were like, right, we're going to get a few train beers. Like, we're going to take it easy. Just started yeah, we, slamming we beers back, like, on the fucking train. It was, uh, yeah, it was good. Good, good fucking trip. But, um, everyone had a normal drink, and I just decided I was going to have red stripe. <laughs> Red stripe, yeah, bigger the red stripes. Um, yeah, because uh, it's also next on the list. Speaking of EUIC, um, yeah. EUIC is coming up soon. Are it we is. excited for it? Are we excited? We got any, oh, we yeah, got any predictions for the weekend? Uh, like, we're gonna like, get we're gonna get like, the beers in, of course. We're gonna send don't, it. Don't say the bags. I, 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 no, 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 no. I know you were trying to not, not say about it. that. I, I know not, you were trying to not. We're not about that, laugh. <laughs> I, I beers is, beers is real, yeah, no, we're not we're not I bag you, we're I booze you. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, I it's gonna it be, be good. Weekend, I think it'll be a tough uh, weekend. But like the first one like first like, a game since I think because all the Americans are coming over, aren't they? They all think, oh look, we can be yeah. kings of Europe, you know? Yeah, true. So it'd be a, true. It, it, yeah. I mean we we won't get yeah, that far, then, bro. Mate, we'll be mate, we'll be we'll be ready mate, to get mate, the beers in day one. Hey, do you know it's cause we're like, uh, I mean, obviously some of us will, but like most of us aren't going to take it that serious. Like, not like at all. It's going to be just beating up because. No, yeah, that's so, I think. Uh, I book, you book it because you want to go and see your mates, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So, wait. So, uh, are you staying in London for UICR? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm stay- I'm going to stay because then we can that's full fine. send it. Yeah, I was going to say that's a long, long day. For I ain't, you I ain't commuting here and back when I've been on yeah, the beds. Long. Yeah, 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 that's long. Uh, which, uh, which, which are days are you staying? Um, I will be in London from Thursday evening to Monday. Yes, come on, because we got socials Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as well. I'll be at all of them. Yeah, we love that. We'll well, if, you're, if you're there, bro, I'm there. We'll bring Thomas if he's not asleep. Well, yeah, of course, of course, I'm going to be there. Like two of them are in my pub. <laughs> like, yeah, of course, it's, I'm going to. It's be... actually my. It's actually my pub now. I've decided. Yeah, it, is it? <laughs> bro, bro, bro's come to take over. That's what it is. Twenty twenty four, fucking year of the takeover. <laughs> First Thomas says you're annoying because you said we'll bring Thomas. Bro, you're asleep. We literally needed you to make a noise and you didn't even yeah. do that. You ruined the stream. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah that, that is true. That, that is true. Yeah, so so, so for anyone uh, who's wondering the context, so Joe has never, like, used fucking OBS before, right? So, like, he's had to learn it all in one day, to be fair. And he's done a great... He, he's done a great job, to be fair. I, I, I can't lie. It, like, he has put Thomas to shame, to be fair to him. Like, I'm so, I'm sorry. It's just a fact. He has like big up tech issue, Tom, and all that. You, like you know, 
you know, I, you were like, uh, you were like, oh yeah, you should go. And you, you, I was, we were like, oh, you could, we could host the podcast together in Thomas's absence, like guest host. You're like, yeah, you can have Thomas's Twitch channel and your thing. You can host the thing. I'm like, bro, <laughs> you want me to run the thing? Yeah, yeah, that's it. And and here we are, man. Here we are. Yeah. Uh, uh, Thomas did did send the send it, did send the settings. He did send the the photos. So he helped no, out he didn't, a little bit, didn't he? No, he didn't. I did. did. You do it. He did, but he sent it to yes. you, didn't he? Respectfully, I have a better. Yeah, to be honest, it probably runs better on my PC anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that, mate. Thomas's PC needs coal for it to fucking power on. Like, bro's fucking. He's like, got a chimney. Bosch Tucker trials. He's got a, yeah, he's got a chimney and a steam engine. Yeah, Bosch Tucker trials to turn his fucking PC on. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry, I Thomas. Even, like, I even bought a new camera for this. Did you? Yeah. Big up. Big up. But no, nah, I, uh, I had to show off the suit. I had to show off the tie in it. Yeah, this is but, this no, is what we're doing. Wow, well, yeah, it's actually Thomas. Good job. Yeah. But um, but but no, guys, like for real, shout out Thomas, co-host. Um, yeah, one think... of our best friends, big plans, and, and letting us on here because he could have said no. We don't want you on here. He, he wouldn't have had a choice. We have all the <laughs> man changes like, the password, so we're not on it. Yeah, like, but yeah, uh, yeah, shout sh- out Thomas. Good, big up, good guys. Um. Okay, so mate, do you not know, mate? Honestly, we're just gonna have to fucking shit out it at this point, like because because yeah, 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 we've yeah. nearly like smashed through like everything. We don't want to get into that stuff yet. I've nearly came two beers already, by the way. Like, yeah, I'm I'm like, I'm, I'm cracking two. I see this off. <laughs> Go on, son. That's it. <laughs> this is the vibe. EU, this is EYC oh, training. God. This is what it's come to, mate. Don't so so so. I went to the gym at like. Nine o'clock this morning. I did a five k uphill run. Man, I've were, been absolutely. You were running. All, you told me you were going to yeah. walk. You did the no, run. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, well. Okay, I jogged. I did a six mile an hour jog. Hey, that's what decent. That's good effort, man. Mate, it fucking killed me off, brother. <laughs> Literally fucking killed me off. I've been dead. I've been trying to not fall asleep. Was when you told me you're going to Argos. I forgot that shop existed. You forgot Argos existed. Argos, uh, they, shut, they, they shut the Argos down near me yeah. uh, a long, long, long time ago. So it's sort of a thing in the past. Uh, yeah. Mate, how old are you? 23. Fucking hell. Thomas, we're so old. Man doesn't remember Argos. Fucking oh, hell. I remember going in there when I was young. But You like... must remember, like, like I don't know, uh, Woolworths? You must remember Woolworths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to have one in the high street. It's now... Um... It's an Iceland now. Big up, big up, Iceland, big up, Iceland yeah. chicken strip. By the way, please sponsor us, Iceland. Like, yeah, Josh, <laughs> Josh ate like a hundred of them over right? his the go for his weekend. Yeah, but I did. I fucking absolute shit. It's one of them. His yeah, toilet was great. So, but... uh, are you talking about um, Gotar, the one like last week? Yeah, yeah, right? the Sino one. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, so we haven't actually spoke about this because we could have a little bit of a chat about that, couldn't we? Stream, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, how, how was your Gotar? You were work, I, uh, a lot of it. Right? A lot of it. I was working. Yeah. Uh, I was. Mike, shut up! You look like a year seven with your new low taper fade. It looks <laughs> like your mum's done your hair, bro. <laughs> we can't be flaming the listeners like that, bro. We can't, we, we, we can't be flaming the listeners, man. Fucking anyway, hell! No, I did work for a lot of it, but um, my main goal was uh, hit the raids, wasn't it? Yeah, I've been yeah. spending too much time with you. You've got me. You've got me trying to itch a scratch for reading. Big up the whales. This guy here. This whales. guy here is like, oh yeah, just get two phones out and start reading with that. Uh, even though I was working both the days, I must have done like a hundred reads a day or something. Yeah, it's it's easy to do. I yeah, went cause... to the lo- I went to my local park on Sunday after I finished work and did some catching. But even then, I was there. I was reading in the, in person. I just had my got to do most of the thing because I don't know about you. But I didn't really care about the spawns. I wasn't that bothered. Yeah. No, no, the spawns were shit, to be honest. And like, so, uh, so obviously, like, I was raid training basically the entire fucking weekend, right? Like, long, yeah. long fucking weekend. The funniest uh, part was um, when I was still awake and you messaged me at three in the morning, morning, and I was going to bed and you were getting up to do your raid train. I was like, yeah. we are yeah. finished. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was top. So, yeah, so me and Thomas. Were on a raid train that I'd organised with my group. Shout, shout out the Waffen crew, um, great, great family. Like literally, I call them my family. Amazing. Yeah, we we absolutely fucking crushed it, man. Absolutely crushed it. 
So from when the Unlimited Remote Raids went live Thursday night to... Oh, fucking hell. What time did we finish raiding Monday, Thomas? I think it was like 2 a.m. Monday. I did like... I think I'd done like like 712 raids. This something like that. on it. Look, yeah, we were mate, sitting like, in the Discord. We did EU Raid Hour, didn't we? In the, in the, yeah, yeah. In the voice chat. Yeah. Like we did, you were like, do you want to do Heat Tram Raid for the banner? I was like... Yeah, why not? Because we all had some, we all stocked up on coins and that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we were just we did a lot. A lot of raiding was done. It was fun, but yeah, I think it, it shows that like the remote communities are still alive despite all the. Yeah. Well, the, well, to, you get well, to, five to, a to day. be fair, yeah. To be fair though, you you had a touch. So, so Joe doesn't have the same kind of remote community, like online community that I have. So like he was kind of asking me like, like like how to do like loads of raids over the weekend because because like like you said your your friends versus maybe like PVPers right yeah 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 like, and PVPers like generally speaking don't raid right so I said to you to use Poker Genie right like like how was that like for you to use it because you cause so, you I mean, basically used it forty eight hours yeah I, I literally used it. Yeah, I did go full Kevin Gates. I, mean, I did use it like I've obviously it's all since remote raiding's been a thing. Poker Genie has been a really good way to quickly chalk together some people to yeah, raid yeah. with. But over that yeah. weekend, uh, it was my like a lifesaver because I could literally I had two phones there and I could literally just full send raids the whole thing. Like the second I was done with one, I was in another. In another so I yeah. did I did pay for the, the the upgrade pass to get it faster queues. Yeah, I don't. I, I actually don't know if it would have made a difference because there were so many people queuing the raids and stuff. But it made uh, me not... uh, so. I think it definitely did. I think it definitely made um, shorter queues because it meant. I think I would have been waiting a bit longer to chain it. Yeah, because I think so. I tried to do a poker genie raid just out of interest to see how it worked without having the pass, and it was a good like fifteen minute wait per raid. Oh really? Like I was. I literally yeah. was rapid firing them, so it was definitely it was definitely worth it then. If you want to target a raid boss, definitely it's definitely worth it to get these queues when there's, you know there's going to be loads of raids. But honestly, I didn't have any problems with the lobbies because I think a lot of the time I've been put off by using things like Poker Genie or some of the raid discords because like you these raids, some people don't have the counts. So obviously, like people, have, there's different levels of people that have raid counts and things. Oh, yeah. You don't want to be using a remote pass that are so expensive now and not actually finishing the raid. Yeah, for sure. I, yeah. I didn't have any of that. All the time we smashed the raids out. I have no complaints. I thought it was going to be a little bit short because you were like, oh, I'm going on it with my, my wife thing. I was like, yeah, well, I'll, I'll be lucky to get like 50 in or whatever. Oh, how wrong was I? Yeah. Yeah, so so the thing is, so generally speaking, so, and Thomas can vouch for this. So generally speaking, like when when, when we do the raid trains that I organise, um, it, it is really organized. Like we do spreadsheets, uh, we do polls. So we get people. So so we kind of do it in almost in almost like a priority. Mm. So we do like people who can host first get get priority over joining hours. So um, like you whole... get people who can people who can host fillers, which are people who maybe can't see a lot of raids, but if there is some there, they will send it if the raid train needs to continue. Uh, and then you have people who can join only on the group, and then from there, it's kind of like 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 friends of friends can mm. join. Um, so I think I got um, on that I got on that friends of friends thing when we were doing that German raid hour, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. So I can definitely um, say that it was it was mad organization, but it sounds like it's like a military operation when you're in this thing, and that's yeah, why you yeah. you but you guys go for the medals, don't you? You're all like we want as many. Yeah. Yeah, well, it, it 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 was a case of it was a case of right. We've got a weekend to get these. We don't know when they're going to be back. Um, it's the first time we've been able to raid like, like this half, in like yeah. nearly a year, right? So it was like right, like it's time to like it's time to go all in, like you know what I mean? Um, Full send, yeah, sure. and yeah. So like, well, so t Thomas will attest to this. Like every single raid hour, so like sorry, every single hour. On the raid train was full the entire forty eight hours. What you like, had twenty was, man, uh, 20, man, twenty man lobbies the whole time? No, 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 well, no, no, because it's ten, isn't it? Right, remote. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, right. you see, yeah, I don't yeah. even know that. It shows how much of a, a, a raider I am. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so yeah, so Thomas was only able to do Saturday daytime, and I was like, look, I, I, I was like, look, if you can like say right, I will host with you, Josh, or like co-host. So we were doing like I send one, he send one, I send one, he's like just bouncing back and forth, right? Um, oh my God, the North Star. The North Star has absolutely just cooked Thomas. North Star chat says, Thomas has lost weight and dressed up. Oh, my God. Top 10 anime betrayals. Holy shit. Um, but yeah, so anyway, so, so yeah, so I was talking to Thomas, and he was like, yeah, cool, like, like we can do that. We'll start, we'll start, uh, we'll start at, at 11, because obviously it was alternating hours. Yeah. And so because cause he hosted, like, five, like, so, oh my God. Uh, four or five hours uh, with me, he got to join like early hours. So, yeah, so on Saturday morning, Thomas was already reading when I woke up, I think, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, so he was able to get loads. I think we had, like, we had a really, like, successful trip. I think we had, I think we had two Shundos. No, sorry, and, like, just, just for your door star. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and... I think we had twenty nine hundos host like over the weekend. That's big. Which, well, to be fair, so so you say that. I don't think it's that great considering we had ten man lobbies for eight, like for every Are single. Are you getting the calculator out oh. to do some mathematical? Uh, yeah, no, no. So no, so because someone so, someone did the maths. Uh, Liz, shout out Liz, by the way. Um, big up Liz. Yeah, yeah, she's she's fucking great. Um, she's actually a mod here, right? Yeah, yeah, she is. Yeah, uh, yeah Liz. She, so she helped. She helped out massively, massively. So, so Liz does a thing that's like iconic in our group chat called um, called the Lizbot. So she, so she will sit there and she will go through all the spreadsheet and she schedules messages to go into the group chat every hour for who's hosting and a list. Of people they have to send to, and it goes off every hour on the hour for like forty eight hours. It's a fucking godsend. It's great. Um, that is impressive. Yeah, it, no, it's really fucking good. Like real good. Uh, so she did work it out. I think somewhere in here. Um, bum, 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 bum. sorry, I, sorry, I will find it because she kind of worked out right. where. Uh, like kind of where the numbers are. Um, hold up. Do 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 do. Um, fucking hell! There's so many messages in here. Well, yeah, you coordinate. Uh, I, okay, so crazy, yeah. so so she did the maths, and over the 48 hour raid trade, we did over a thousand raids as a group, that which is, is some good. Like, Fucking insane, right? Um, yeah, that's brother. Yeah, like it's, but it was such a godsend. Um, and yeah, like, like honestly, like, like, like the vibes are just so good. Like the vibes were good. Like, like there were some hours where we'd be in voice chat hanging out. Otherwise, you know, especially kind of like in the like in the Asia Pacific area where Discord doesn't really work very well. They don't have like technical support for it. Like it just doesn't work basically. Um, but there was a lot of communication. To, and one of the big things, which I've said to Thomas before, we spoke about it on Cast for Four, that's really nice about our group is, like, like, like whenever anyone got Hondo or Shondo, like, like everyone was on it. Like, congratulations. Like, everyone was really happy to see everyone else do well. Like, there's, no, really jealous, there's no, like, envy or, like, it's not jealousy. It's not yeah. like, oh. I think yeah, sometimes no. you, can, you can be like, oh, well, I wish I had that. It's like a joke. Like, we were sitting there. I remember you got a Hondo when we were sitting in the voice chat, and I'm just like... Oh what? Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? Congrats, man! Because yeah, at the end of the day, it's a game. Like you play, there's a it's yeah, all yeah, goes sure. all goes back to that community yeah. thing, and it's like you know what? You should be happy for someone because yeah, for sure. Why man. not? But uh, so, I, I I think for me, um, yeah, like I think for me, it was it was so nice to do because like raiding like that is what we would do basic basically every day, especially on a Wednesday, and like so like. This group of people, I literally call family because, like, during lockdown, we spent like nine plus hours together every fucking day, hanging out in Discord, raiding together, and it, it like, like that group literally got me through lockdown, like, in a good like mental space. There was always saying, people. Oh, it was great. 
Are we saying big up the World Weapon Crew? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah, it big was up, fucking great. Big up the World Weapon great. Crew. Shout out them, man. Um, Shout out. Yeah, and then, but then to be fair, like, like even walking around, so on the Saturday... I was going to say this, because I remember we both talked about, like, obviously we've talked about remote raids a lot, but, like, I think even when you were you were telling me about your locals, and I obviously went and did some local raiding, I think this is an interesting point to talk on, because it was popping. Oh, yeah, it, it was. It was fucking ridiculous. It was, it, it was mental. So, like, I, so I, I don't know about you. So I, I live on, like... So I kind of live on like the outskirts of London, right? Um, yeah. So and like, like to be honest, we kind of have like, like we we have a decent sized community, but it's really like inactive. Is mm. what I will say. Um, uh, mate. So uh, Mike, who who is watching live on Twitch, Dude, will say as well. My, my um, mate, like like. There were so many people out raiding. I think there was a group of like twenty five of them just walking like from raid to raid. It was like, and I, it's been so long since I've seen that many people, people out playing. Don't fit, don't really like go out, do they? Like as Northstar was saying in chat, people just go in their cars. Even here, like people just raid in their cars and they bugger off. But I think so the thing just, is, like I've people were out for this event. Like we had. Any raid we could do. Yeah. I live, obviously, I don't live in London, so it's a little bit quieter around here. We have a community, and you have a thing set up, but not everyone. Like, there's different levels of interest and different levels of like grinding. But any raids that were there, there was a group of seven, eight, nine people, which is pretty yeah. sick for where we are because I've been out on raid hours before, and it's just been me and one other person. So like, yeah, it really felt then, like, it, like the it brought the community up. Yeah, for definite. Um, so, like, so I, I have spoken about this briefly on my Twitter. I did like a summary thing. Um, I do think that this, that the GoTar in general was just, it was basically like a massive raid weekend that was just labeled as a GoTar. Um, because I, I genuinely don't think anyone gave a shit about the Pokemon spawning, like in the wild at all. I genuinely don't know anyone who, was like, oh yeah, yeah, you know, you know, I'm just gonna go around on my own and catch. Yeah, them. I didn't like, see anyone. Everyone you saw on like Twitter or each on Discord, they're like, invite me to raids, invite me to raids. I want yeah. Palker, I want the other, I want this, I want that. It wasn't like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna go and catch Sneasel for five hours. Yeah, sure. Um, yo, first time chat out. Welcome in, welcome in, K. Uh, welcome in. So, uh, if it's the key I'm thinking of from Go Hub, big shot. Oh, and yeah, actually, yeah. Thomas, Thomas makes a good point there that all of the things that people wanted, like the shiny Sinnoh, like the Pachirisus and all of that, locked behind eggs. So actually, everything that was worth, not worth doing, because obviously you can catch some stuff and it's decent, but everything that was awesome was actually behind some yeah. paywall. paywall. So even, oh, yeah, if, it was, even if it was uh, a free event, bro, me and you both spent bags on this. Yeah, I would rather not speak... How much? I it's like Jose Marino. Uh, I, pre I prefer not to speak. <laughs> like, no, no. So, talking monetary wise, uh, in game coin wise, I believe I did about 140,000 coins. That's like, that that's like work for Mr. Av. Yeah. yeah, it was a lot. But, but like, for me, like, for me, that, that's what I find it, fun it? in the game. You know? And like, it was so nice to see everyone's names in the lobbies again. Like, like yeah, all the people, I agree. That like, that like, like that, like you would see every fucking day in and out, like the lobbies was was fucking great. Because um, uh, sorry, sorry, go on. Even the times that we were, like, I, I can sit there and I talked about. Oh, I sat there and there was a machine gun in poker generators. But the most fun I had there was when I was out with my locals and we were having a chat, or when we were sitting in the Discord messing about. It's that whole thing of you get the value you get out of it. We were raiding together. Yeah. It's more than just oh, I. I I spent 30k poke pokey coins and I had a great time. There's a lot more that comes with it for that than just like the raid, which I know sounds goofy as like hell, but I think yeah, it's easy to be like, you know what, actually, sure, I did a raid, but I was also sitting there and we were hanging out and we were messing about and we were having fun. It's worth yeah, it to me. I mean, yeah, I, I mean, to be honest, like I do, I do, uh, and listen, right, I know some people are going to, Hate this comment, but I do genuinely think that um, that that Niantic knew really well what they wanted to get out of this weekend, oh, and it was to get 
it was to get people out and breathing again. And I think they did that really well, um, yeah. to be honest. Um, and kind of an unpopular opinion, but, you know, I, I, I guess there's two sides of it. I do feel like, like, especially in the raids, the shiny rate wasn't diabolical. It's normal I mean, I'm just going to say it was diabolical. I did but, at least 100 of each one, and I had, don't have enough odds but, to show. But I think they did that on purpose to keep people more, going yeah. around raiding together. Right. But that's what I because, the most. But, but because especially within my local community, are people back will back me up here. People only do the raids nowadays. So sorry, I, I say everyone the the everyday casual player is what I will call. So them. like define define they, what you right. what you what what is a casual to you? So so they maybe open the game for maybe maybe ten minutes a day, right? They maybe like they, they, like they maybe do their daily spin. But like they, they'll they keep, so they keep up with the events and they yeah. know what's sort of in there. Yeah, um, right. But are we saying are we saying they're free to play or they might put someone yeah, yeah. in a cage? Yeah, are we... yeah. No, 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 they are definitely majority. All right, so free we're saying they're free to play casual, um, and they'll use the yeah. pokey coins they get from the gym. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I I generally find within my community, from my experience, that. The, the everyday casual player only raids until they get a shiny. Once they get the shiny, they're done, right? Um, like, straight up, I I do think that is genuinely what happens. I think I think they get a shiny for their Pokedex, like their storage, and then that's it, they're done. So, yeah. so, so I think that by having, quote-unquote, lower odds, if we're speculating, I think it was actually a really good idea because... It kept everyone out, like for for way longer, and like everyone was getting involved. I, I mean, I mean, like I said on a Saturday here, there was genuinely about twenty five people raiding for like like for most of the day, like for hours and hours. Even like any like, even here, and that's on a smaller scale. Anyone who wanted to do a raid did get a lobby, which you usually don't yeah. get. You have you have to coordinate. Mike says more than that, man. Yeah, but um, you have to coordinate. We have to coordinate here, quite hardcore. Yeah. Otherwise, you can't do it, especially them tankier. But I know they weren't; they're not tankier. But if you take Crest, for example, we'd have to properly coordinate that and make sure everything, because yeah. yeah. you can't just do it with like two people. So it was, yeah. it was mad because I've never seen the thing, the community just go. Whoo! Um, let me we have a so look. Bad. Have a look. So I've transferred four. Like, I've lucky traded. Should I, have a, should I have a look at what I got? Transferred four. I've lucky traded. So I got three. Six. 12, 15, 18. Thomas says, in all fairness, Loughborough community oh. actually came out, but they're mostly casuals. So, see, yeah, even, so that, the I... ca but even the casuals were drawn out by this event. So, you take that thing of they're casuals and they open the game for a bit. They looked at it and they were like, I want to go and read this. This is cool. So, I ended up with 27 shinies, and that was that was Palkid Dialga. So, a little over 500 raids. Which, to be fair, actually is kind of accurate, I think. Um, well, I mean, in terms of yeah, shiny. Rate, I mean, from about. what we're going off, so we have here, we were like seven people on foot on Saturdays. So I had to make sure everyone had planned raid teams, etc. By the end of the day, we were on three mobile and like this to hop in. But yeah. I think, Kitty, that goes with what we were saying of people got what they were wanted and they were done. Yeah, yeah. So, and to be honest, I do think that is kind of. The case now with with the game, like especially now it's not unlimited remotes, is I think it's quite a simple people... way to play, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for definite, for definite. Um, yeah, method primal raid days, but, Thomas. I don't need to do them. Yeah, but um, but yeah, like and for me as well. Again, hot take, like very hot take. I know it is. Like I'm so glad that um that that they only do these events once a year. Um, I I definitely do not want. Unlimited remote raids to come back. I don't. Um, Not full time. So, for sure. like, as someone who raided hard, hard, I think I'm like, I think I'm 30 raids away from doing 20k legendary raids, right? Before anyone says, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, it, it was if any, not. If anyone knows about raids, it's Mr. Av. It was not a, it's not a healthy way to play. It's good. Like, it was good for me and my friends. Oh, for a weekend. Like, it online, was good. Right. But then I do feel like, like after having it taken away from us with no real answer, 
I I would not want to go back to raiding that way full time and give Niantic that level of money again. Oh no, so, no, no, definitely not. Right, and to be honest, I think everyone should kind of think the same because they don't deserve it in a way. So like, I think doing these events once or twice a year is a very happy medium for me personally. Um, and yeah, and like I said, I do think. I do think this weekend, people should also see that side of it. Of yes, it was nice to see your friends in lobbies again, to not be capped. But it was also nice to get out and raid something new and exciting with community around you. And so I know that's not the case for people who who play who play in a rural environment. Like I completely understand that, but you can't please everyone, right? It's the thing. It's impossible. Right? Isn't you it? can't. Like you can't. It's impossible. Whatever you do, someone's going to have a comment to say about something. So also, just going back to the shiny rate, I did... Obviously, I, I, I'm going to say I probably did 200, 250 raids. I had nine shinies, so I did... I was mainly doing Palkia, so I had seven shiny Palkia and two Dialga. I think so you did maybe, what? You did I, what? I had 250? And you got two, how many shinies? Seven, I got nine in total, so I had seven Palkia and two Dialga. Yeah, but on so, Saturday... Uh, I hit Palkia hard. Yeah. And, and so your oh, shiny rate was like one seven. Yeah, so it's a bit high. But I had what'd you call it? Um I got the Hundo Diabra as well, so that was cool. Nice, big up. So I was happy. Yeah, so... I was really happy. Even if I didn't get I wasn't that bothered about shiny because I was more happy to get a um Yeah. Like a good one. I wanted I was happier with a good stats one than a shiny one, which I think shows there's another there's different ways to play the game, isn't it? If it was shiny, it was well, cool. I was, but I was sort of like, well, whatever. So to be fair, like, I will always say this to people, right? And I think people need to be a bit more open about it, is there is no wrong way to play this game. And I think that's one of the really beautiful things about this game. Yeah, I agree. It's right. such an open game, isn't it? Like, um, there's yeah. no, you can oh, yeah, play, it, play, it, play it how you want. There's no... There's no do what yeah. you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but, yeah... So yeah, I think GoFest was great, but like I said, for me, do, do one one or two events a year on limited raid, absolutely fine by me. Uh, absolutely fine. Um, I do think as well that um, I do think people need to make more of an effort to help build a community or bring it back. Um, yeah. it's, it's something like especially within my local community that me and the other guys like who admin it. We've been really trying to push that a lot more, um, you know. Um, and to be fair, it's been going really well. Like, like we've really kind of managed to get people back out, coming to raid hours, joining for, for like for drinks and whatnot, and going out and doing stuff. But I think you know, that's I, the the thing, isn't it? You make yeah. it a thing rather than just, it's more than a game. Because I think for a lot of us, yeah. like even that thing you asked me, how did you meet Thomas? It's more like oh, we met through the game, but it's become yeah. so much more than a game. Which I think is sick because yeah, I don't sure. I, I've I've played games like all sorts of different games all my life and I don't know many other games that you can build communities like this. Well, so to, to be, I, I I always say as well, not to sound like I'm a big like elitist blah blah whatever, but like I have like I, I have played games all my fucking life. I've played online games basically my entire life i've uh, uh, i played call of duty at, at, at like a semi pro level for for teams i've played destiny in clans played in tournaments but like, i've played games like i've played a lot of games so i'm i'm quite happy to to speak out kind of on behalf of a lot of people yeah, yeah, yeah. i've never I, i've never played a game that has built as many friendships that aren't only over the game or the internet as Pokemon Go ever. But I think the the beautiful thing about this game is obviously you can build friendships over the internet. Like obviously that's how we started talking. Like when you get Ibu's you was on the scene, we started talking about that and that. But it gives you the opportunity to go to these events and it puts a name to a face and you can meet these people. Where a lot of these things you don't have that. Take Destiny for example, because I used to bang that game out as well. Like sure I met loads of cool people through there, but they're never people that were I could tangibly put a face to them with the three of us, like me, yeah. you and Thomas could stand there and have a pint. Of the Not possible with many other games apart from this. Cause I think yeah. it just has such a reach. Yeah, for definitely. Yeah, for definitely. And, and to be fair, I do think that is why this game 
Oh, this game's been going for what seven years now. Uh, like, I do, f- I, I do think there is a lot of life to it. But I, I, think, I, I think a lot. Of, I, yeah. I, I think a lot of people online, especially Twitter, right? And and listen, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Pokemon Go Twitter now compared to what it was years ago is fucking awful. It's, it's such yeah, a top yeah, it's place bad. now, right? And, and the thing is, is it never used to be like that. Never, it never used to be like that. And it's so toxic and negative. And it's people say, people like, oh, blah, blah, the game's dying. The game is not fucking dying. Like, I'm sorry, it's not, right? And it's like, these people who just, they, like, they don't have, sorry, you go, I'm, like, I'm on like a bit of a tangent here. Go for um, it, man. No, no, no. Go for it. Let like, out, man. People, Come on, go. It fucking annoys me, right? There are people who just don't understand, like, basically anything about business or, like, or just the world in general, right? Um, like it's fucking, it's so weird, right? So people are like, oh, blah blah, the game's dying. So according to this app analysis website, last month Niantic made thirty-four million dollars, right? And then people go, oh yeah, yeah, but but you know, like three, four years ago, it was this. Yeah, but the times were different. And I'm sorry, a game that is seven years old and makes thirty-four million dollars a month is mad. I'm, I'm sorry, come on. Like which, like, which, yeah, that which is other not... games do you know? Like you have obviously you have some that will be able to do it. Like you think of the big ones that have been going on. Like you think of League yeah. of Legends and stuff like that. It can yeah. carry on and it could, but that yeah. is insane, especially for a free to play mobile game. Usually, yeah, 100%. they're they're done so after. Um, and to be fair, as much as Niantic do fuck up and they do, and don't get it wrong, I, like I'm happy to call them out when they fuck they up. They get called out when they get called happy. out, but you have to right. give them credit where it's due. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was just about to say. Um, I I also give them credit where it's due because I, I I think you have to do that, and it should work both ways for everyone, right? I do think that Niantic this year are like a stepping up their game. Like we've already had like new features come out, quality of life updates yeah. that we've wanted. Shout right, out, gr- heal right. revival, absolute godsend yeah. on that road right. weekend. Right. Now, grant, granted, these things have come maybe a little bit later than we quote unquote wanted, but they're still here, right? So, um, which speaking of, speaking of, and this is really big now. So, literally, as we are recording this live on Twitter, I wanted to recently, mention this is what Thomas said, right? Yeah. So, they have just now pushed a feature where if you level up with someone, it gives you the option to put on a lucky egg. Do you know how fucking huge that is? That is that, fantastic. Like, Monstrous, I, like that is such a big update. And because more time, oh, I can't be bothered to coordinate. I just let people yeah, do it. Yeah, hundred percent. Like it's massive for me. So one of the badges I'm most proud of is my idol badge. So, Come on, get the badge in, big man. Show the badge. Well, I have one thousand five hundred thirty-six best friends. Right now, oh, friend, oh, oh friend, yeah, Pokemon yeah. friends. So, like so, for me, like XP doesn't bother me. But if I was grinding XP. Like, like now I have the opportunity to maximize it. Do you know what I mean? Like that is such a big fucking update. It's massive. Uh, we've seen we've seen in New Zealand as well. It, uh, they're they're trying out the new backgrounds to give the app a new facelift. Oh, they which look again. They look sick as again, well. Again, kind of overdue, but nevertheless, still coming right. And I, I, I honestly, I I think this year is going to be a great fucking year. For the it's game. a good year to be a Pokemon um, Go player. I'm saying it. Yeah, it hundred percent is. Um, and you know they need to just, just kind of keep at it and stop the re- like the really shit errors that they make because some There's of them so are many fucking awful, little little silly awful. things that just really trip them up. Like they forget to turn shinies on. They forget yeah. to turn moves on. It's little oh. things like that that just oh. to a casual could mean a big deal because like. Yeah, I've well, got one. I've got one raid for the day. I've done it. Oh, I didn't actually get the chance to get a shiny. Yeah, but then it's like, uh, like, uh, I mean, fucking hell, man! You've only got to look at this week just gone. So, so for Spotlight Hour, they had the wrong information on on the Spotlight Hour for like a month, right? Um, it, in New Zealand, big when it Tom, first big started, Thomas are falling for the false information. Yeah, yeah, which is ridiculous. But that's, but that's, uh, but that's, that's beside the point. Um, and then, yeah, when Spotlight Hour started in New Zealand, Pikachu was spawning instead of the actual one it was supposed to be. Um, this week just gone, they 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 forgot to give Heatran and Cresselia the moves they were supposed to have. Like, 
like shit like that like like i i don't know and you know i i'm not saying this to do you know cuz i i'm just going to say it cuz there's no way to say it without trying to like i'm being horrible but like you know like like obviously no one wants to see people lose their job right but like some of these people are not doing their job you're, you're right actually, like, if i if like if i was if i was not doing my job properly i'm out of a job man yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you get paid to do something. If you can't flick a switch on, yeah, ah. and and so you know, like, I'm talking to some someone who doesn't understand coding. I don't know anything about coding. I don't. But I think it would be a safe assumption to say that the people on the coding team have years and years of 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 experience, right? So so they know what they're doing. Past that. Why are these updates and events not being stress tested before by an internal team on a beta build, right? Like, to me, stuff that should be quite normal in a games company, right? Um, but yeah, it still happens, right? Um, but, like, you know, I, I think once we can iron that out, like, you know, like, like the game is going to be back to good. So, like, to be fair, one fuck up they did that was amazing was they they lifted they lifted the the cap for remote raid fucking way too uh, early. Right? It was, was supposed that... to be it was supposed to be what midnight Friday and it went live like four PM for us Thursday, something like that. Yeah, no, um, exactly. Because I remember you messaged me like yeah. you're like, bro, the cap is off. Get in the raid you're like, get the raids in. Yeah. Um but yeah, so but yeah, like I, I I don't know, like swings around out, but yeah, like I said, like it's hard. Pokemon Go so. Twitter now is fucking horrific. Like I used to, um, I used to really enjoy it, and the only reason why I'm still on it is I have a lot of friends on there. Um, I have a lot of people who who you know who are wanting to be friends in game on there and stuff like that. Which that's kind of the only reason why I'm on it. Other than that, like it's nowhere near yeah. like, as good as it used to be. No, there. Um... Sorry, not to make a good point. But back to the just back to the errors thing. It's like so the the like obviously the shiny rate of Sinnoh Tour wasn't great or whatever. But actually the it didn't have the amount of errors for a global event that we're sort of used to them before. So well, like, the the glitches were minor. So I think mate, it, it sort of banged in that respect. Do you know what? Uh, right, I'm gonna go on a tangent about this again, right? I, I am because this, at this it annoyed, again. Right? No, 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 because no, this no, stuff. No. I'm letting you so, cook, bro. Cook, cook. So, so, in the past, right, we had, like, especially for Go Tours, we had pay tickets, right? People complained relentlessly that, that, that the pay ticket was not up to their standard, correct? If you remember that, right? So then Nine Tick have gone, right, we're not going to do a pay ticket. The event is free for everyone, right? And, um, and then fr from there, it never specified, especially for the Sinnoh Tour just gone, it never specified there would be a shiny boost, right? Right? So all the people were like, oh, the shiny rate was shit. But they never said it was going to be good. They, they, they never said it. So, like, so what are you complaining about? And then the people who are complaining now, there's too many tickets in the game, were then complaining there wasn't a ticket to enhance. Yeah, you can't win. <laughs> can it's, like, you? it's like, make up your fucking mind. I like, you can't win. Can't duck and dive around. Like, make your point, and stick to it. You know. You make your point about the shiny raid. Obviously, I, I said I was in for the raids, and that was sort of my thing. But I went out on that that Sunday, and I had my Go Plus on. Bro, mm -hmm. I caught mad shinies just on the Go Plus. So I don't yeah, I like. I don't actually. Not. I don't know what people are, are chatting about because obviously, I anecdotally, I believe them. But yeah. I don't think the shiny rate was as bad as it was made to be out of. Like the raid one yeah, we've touched no, on, definitely. and I think we can both say the shiny in raids weren't as high as we're used to. But the wild yeah, one is about yeah. what I'd expect. Yeah, for sure. Um, so Thomas is here in chat because he's not out of the social. Says, uh, says, there is uh, no social. Uh, yeah, says, um, I like the ticket. Give you the chance to enhance your gameplay. I'll buy you. Don't. Okay, but Thomas, but following that, there are people. There are people out there who enjoy this game. They play it with their family, who maybe don't have that income to to you know to have that money aside to enjoy that kind of experience with the whole family. So, 
I would argue not having a ticket puts everyone on a level playing field and everyone can enjoy it in the same way, in, in my personal opinion. You could buy the Raid edition, couldn't you? And the and the Egg edition for Sinotaur. Yeah. Which I but, like, admittedly, I bought because mm. I feel like me and you and a yeah. lot of people are that sort of people that we play the game enough that it was worth yeah. it. But even you the see, free then, experience, it was free. Yeah. It's free. Yeah. But then, like, for me, I feel like those tickets they did were great. They didn't do anything that kind of directly enhanced your gameplay to a point of you would be... As in, so, I think looking back, if I didn't buy those tickets, I wouldn't notice that I didn't have them. If that makes sense. The 30 XP from Raid... Obviously, this doesn't apply to you because you're you're a billionaire in XP, but for me, I noticed the 30k XP... Mm. Incredible bonus, which I didn't yeah, think uh, about when I first bought yeah, the ticket. Okay, Incredible but, bonus. But, right, but without that ticket, you would have still got, got 20k. Yeah, exactly. So right. it's just things so, that made it, what things that you yeah, were doing yeah. better. It didn't give you something that was, yeah. oh, which, look at me, me, if you pay £5, you can get a million XL candy. And, like, I think especially now... Um, uh, uh, the North Star makes a good yeah, point. Yeah, that's what you're going to say. It's like, your um, so, so he has his account, his wife, and his kids. And you've only got to look at GoFest and stuff now, right? So so GoFest now, right? You have to buy your ticket for the day. Now you can buy add-ons. You can buy add-ons for extra days. Uh, you can buy uh, you can buy raid add-ons and hatch on That fucking adds up. Like, you um, think, like, you played... Um, sorry, you played... We we both did London Go Fest, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You buy a ticket, you could buy the raid, you could buy the eggs, which you did you buy them all as well? Yeah, yeah. You did the full set. Did you got the t shirt as well? Yeah. Bro, that's that was near a hundred quid, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure. So like yeah, yeah, it adds yeah, up yeah, and you think it, it's okay yeah, for me, so- not okay for me and you. Because mm. it's just us. But you take take North Star for example, that's a whole family of people that play. That's four hundred. Took like four hundred quid. Yeah, like Wanna get on some pixels. At the end of the day, some pixels. Yeah. It's mental, you know. Um, so like for me, like this weekend was great. I, I think everyone was on the same, same level playing field, and mm. I also feel like you kind of, like to a certain degree, you kind of have to make of the game whatever you want it to be, right? So you you know, you know, you kind of have to have expectations for yourself and be like, right, I can only spare this amount of time. You know, I'm going to message my friend, you know, who maybe played before, maybe still plays, be like, look, blah, 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 there's this event happening this weekend. It's free to play. Do you want to meet up and play it? If you don't make those kind of efforts, you like, you can't really complain, right? Do, do you know what I mean? Like, like, you have like to, it's very easy. You can, it's you very can say easy oh, to sit back and shit like, on them, but yeah. you've made no effort, right? You know what I mean? So, oh, it was right, a bad I, event, bad event this, bad event that. But I think the thing is, it takes them people, like, it take, you have to take some some lead. You can't just be like, yeah. it didn't fall into my lap. And now I feel like we're yeah. getting a little bit philosophical. That's, that could be like life advice rather than pogo advice, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to quickly go grab two more beers. He's quick. having a piss. No, no I'm going to go grab two more beers. So normally right. at this point, podcast, t- Thomas kind of shills she was at all a little bit. So, so you know, so so you need to advertise the Twitch, the YouTube, the Spotify, the Apple. The tw- okay, so. All right. So, for those of you that missed uh, last week's podcast, you know, I've been taken on as many a background guy. I've been working hard. We've got the TikToks going, we've got the YouTube shorts going, and it'd mean a lot to me if you could go and check out them. It's iBooz you and all of them. I'm working my ass off for them. And I think they're quite good. So if you could check that out, follow Thomas on Twitch, obviously. Follow, subscribe on YouTube. It's all the same link. Thomas Young, nineteen ninety seven. Big up Thomas. Respectfully, I hope he does well in Utrecht. Man wanted some scrims earlier, but was asleep, so he's a dickhead. I ain't got much to say, and that's lucky because Mr. Av is back. I think I've done enough shout outs. <laughs> There you go. That's it. How was hey, that? What do you think? What do you think of that? Oh. Give it out of ten. That the oil spill, like Thomas, did I do better or worse? Maybe like, uh, no, no, that, that 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 was definitely not as good as Thomas. But you know, we can work on that. Yeah, but I'm, 
bro, I've got like you, you see the whole. You, if you see the whole setup, I've got going here. I'm trying my best. I've got Twitch on. I've got Twitch on one screen. I've got OBS on another screen. I've got the stream structure on another one. I'm trying my hardest, bro. Big, big sound, big sound. So the question is, right? So because you, you, you must be like, you must be in your second or third bottle now, right? This is the third one, bro. Yeah. yeah. So what, what? What? What's the thoughts now? Three, three bottles in. What do you reckon of it? Yeah, it's it's very drinkable. It's banging. It's so... I think I think I, I say when I when there's a drink that I enjoy a lot, I have a saying. It goes down a little bit too easy. They're going down oh, a yeah, little bit too definitely. easy. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Big up. It's, I mean, it, I, I read unfiltered, and I was like, "What does that mean?" Like all the uh, we're drinking that. Are you only just clocked on? He missed the beer review as well. We're drinking yeah, the unfiltered. Bro, we got unfiltered in. Get the unfiltered in. You got unfiltered. The unfiltered. He's the unfiltered. It's Leng. It's fucking Leng. Man. Love it. What do you call it? It is nice. But you said you went to Big Tesco. I, if I went to Big Tesco, do you know how late I would? I would have been Thomas late for the stream. Uh, yeah, to be fair. Yeah, we, were on Thomas, time, we were on time for once, weren't we, boss? Yeah. Yeah, mate, we were. We, we were fucking bang on time, mate. We smashed it. Um, speaking of being on time, I don't know why it's made me think of this. Guys, our podcast song is now out on all streaming platforms. Shout out, Nate, because the song yeah, is, it is so good. It is so good. It is it's so good. Josh, you know, you know when I was driving to the gym and I was driving to take, I had it on. I try. My, my test of a song is I play it in the car, and if it bangs yeah. in the car, it's a banger. That yeah, song bangs banger. in the car, bro. Yeah, I was giving it the. Yeah. yeah, it was good. Yeah, it, it is an app. What about the t- are we, we going to say about the um the gig? The what? The gig. At oh, the Fiddler's yeah. Elbow. Get the Fiddler's yeah, Elbow yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, so yeah, so Nate, Nate's band, uh, 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 Entity, great band, by the way, genuinely. They're playing a gig in Camden uh, later this month. Um, like, if anyone's interested, just add me in the Discord. A few of us are going to be there. It's going to be fucking great. It's going to be, it's be a good time. But yeah, the song is a, an actual it is a certified banger. banger. It is a banger. Like, it, we and Josh were singing it all, the, all afternoon. We were here setting OBS up. We were here setting okay. the stream up. We were giving it, we were getting the I boot you in, weren't we? Yeah, it's fucking ridiculous. To be, like, it's. Like it still baffles me, and so so uh, he messaged me and Thomas in our group chat we have on Facebook. Um, so he got group it played on some, on some kind of like it's, it's like an independent rock radio. Oh, that's um, class. It's, it, it's for people like like unsigned or like up and coming. And he won track of the week yes, with the I Boo song. Uh, and I'm, I'm like, I'm like, you know, like, you know, how mental that is. That like, like, like this little side project. That me and Thomas decided to start, and like, we are moving, man. Like, Bro, like we are traction real moving. quick. Yeah, for definite. Um, I remember, I remember the first episode, bro. I remember watching it. Like, what's this yeah, going to be? And now look, here I am sitting with a yeah. fireplace in the background with the beers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, look at us. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, exactly, <laughs> man. Who who would have thought? Not me. Yeah, Matt's got um, employees now. Yeah, I'm the employee. Yeah, that's, bro. That's, it, that's it, man. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, and we've to be fair, we got some we got some good stuff coming this year as well. It's um, a big year. It's a big year for I Bruce yeah. That's what yeah. we said at the start of the year, isn't it? When we were at Liverpool, we were like, man, yeah. it's Ooh, a big yeah. year. It's a big year for us. It, yeah, it is. Um yeah. So, you know, kinda not to spoil it, you know, but you know, we've we've kind of got something in the works coming out that's for me is really exciting. I'm I've I've kind of spearheading it. Just uh, let us cook. Just let us yeah, cook. Yeah, let us cook. Let's cook. But, sorry, speaking of, I actually did want to speak to you about this. So you still got listening to the song in the car at the gym. So you've very recently taken on the gym kind of... Yeah, pick up uh, the gym, pick up the gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah you've, you've kind of taken it upon yourself. You know, you want to get in shape a little bit more and whatnot. Yeah, there's a good story, actually. We can go, like... So I can go back to, like... Do you, you want me to go back to the very beginning? Go on, mate. Hit us with it, man. We got so, we got time. Uh, my mum, my mum met my. No, I'm joking. We won't go that far. <laughs> yeah. Um. So in my last year of university, I went through a. Um, even I go back to the gym to get in shape from Joe's mum, bro. Good luck with my mother. Respectfully, good luck. Can't wait to see you around. <laughs> Respectfully. Anyway, your mum is so, like no, she's not. In, <laughs> in the last year of my when I was at university in. Would have been 2020, 2020, 2021. 2020, got a, um, 2020. Yeah, shout out that. For, shout out. Um, <laughs> I got a, a diagnosis for ADHD. 
Right. And obviously you have the option during that to be medicated. Right. And the medicine you take for that is quite strong because it's a stim like it's a stimulant. Like it, it fucks it fucks with your heart and stuff. Yeah. And I was big I was a big, big boy. You know, like like oh big oh big boy, big boy, it's like that. Yeah, 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 yeah I was yeah. like I was big boy, big boy. Yeah. I was like, but like that was my wake up call. I was like to the doctor was like, We can give you this, but you know you like because you you gotta track your blood pressure and all of that. Right. I was like, I can't do that. If I do that, I'm not gonna be able to take it and it's like and then you go into that thing of you know what well, actually realistically this is not a healthy way to be and however however how it ended up like that is a whole different story of like but what's done is done. It's more like it's like, you know what? I'm gonna make a change. And I lived I was at uni at the time and I lived with a boy who loved the gym. I was like, I just said to him one day, and I think it's really hard to do it, can I come to the gym with you? Because I don't know about you, but the scariest part of anything of it is, is, oh. going, to the, is going to the gym on your own. You've got no idea, do you? Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, no, no, it is it is completely true. Like, and genuinely, it's super true. Like A lot of it like, is yeah. like, yeah, sorry. No, no, so, sorry, so yeah, I was trying like, to like, reiterate. Yeah, no, I was trying to reiterate what you say. Like, genuinely, like, 50% of of kind of achieving anything in life is starting it, right? Because there are so many people who who say they're going to start doing something in all aspects of life and then just don't because it's easier to sit and be comfortable and carry on with the way that you are because, because there's no guarantee you're going to come out better than when you started, right? But it's always that chance, right? It's scary, isn't it? So yeah. like I started going with this guy, and it was a pure gym. It's not any like specialist gym or anything. Yeah, same it's a, it's a pure gym. Well. Pure gym is sick because it's it's so affordable. <laughs> and that was my yeah. that was mind blown because I, I hadn't been to the gym. I was mind blown that you could get access to this gym whenever you wanted. Twenty yeah. quid a month, twenty five quid a month. Anyway, so I started going, and he started showing me the ropes. He starts easy, like you know, you start with the machines and stuff. So. Nice and easy. It's just the ones you move the plates and stuff. It's like that's thing, and then you start to think, oh, if I'm doing that, I might as well start to eat a little bit properly, because my diet was all over the place. I don't, I wouldn't say I had a terrible diet, but I had yeah all sorts of things like you, like you. I'd have I ate emotionally quite a lot. Yeah. So it's getting the hands on all of that, but that all ties in going to the gym because I felt I could handle my emotions a lot better when I went to the gym. Yeah. So obviously yeah. there's that. And this oh, this boy moves out, and I'm like, oh, now I've got to go on my own. I just fall in love with it, and I start to do things like you start to do the free weights. Like I was banging out bench press, and deadlifts and squats. But yeah. I tell you what, the first time I did my first 100 kilogram bench press was yeah. like the happiest day of my life. Yeah, mate, that mate, that is mental. By the way, doing 100 kg. By the way, like I, like the, in my first, like I was like I was I grinded because obviously at university you don't have anything to do. All I had to do. Was uni work and gym. I banged gym for like it was so, it was it was like a side quest. It was so fun. Yeah, no, that's great. I was that, that's really like, good. Uh, but I think the whole thing is that, like I I learned a lot about myself. It started with that diagnosis of ADHD because I think that's a that's a big thing. You feel like your whole life is turned upside down at that point. <laughs> but I took it and I was like, you know what? I've got a chance. It felt like I had a chance to start anew. Yeah, if that makes yeah. sense. So I was like, you know what? I can take this and I can build some good habits. I, I fucking love the gym now. And I didn't start... I, 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 I know we, we even spoke about it this morning, like, do you weigh yourself? And I, I probably weigh myself, like, once a month because mm. I had that tendency to get obsessed with it. And you can get quite upset yeah. if, like, you weigh yourself every day. And, yeah. oh, why am I not down weight? Well, I think it's different for each person. But for me, personally, yeah. I was like, once a month is fine. And I, I must be down five five stone or something now. Yeah, that's fu that's ridiculously good. Man. And I've got more to. You've seen me like I I, I look right, but there's more. There's a little bit more we can trim off. You know what I mean? Yeah, but, mate, that's it. It's grinding. But it's grinding. It's and... grinding. But it's that whole thing of falling in. Like, it sounds goofy as fuck, but falling in love with the grind because you get one go. And we were talking about this morning, don't you? I don't. F I feel the best when I've been to the gym and I've had the whole thing. Even that yeah. week, I was ill last week. I felt like shit after I'd had. Yeah, it's couldn't go to the gym. It's mad, isn't it? Yeah, mate. Do you know what it is, and it, it might be controversial. It might not be, um, but I, I will say it anyway. I like. I do think and we spoke about it this morning, like especially 
today in where the word mental health gets thrown around quite a lot by a lot of people. Um, I do, I, I do genuinely believe in most cases, kind of looking after yourself makes such a big difference. Yeah, to, definitely. To, right to to the way you live your life um and uh, like uh, 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 like honestly i i do i do genuinely believe because i've done it myself that like going and doing some kind of a run uh you know a big walk i think the thing is you have, some weights, you, you have going to and working out the you exercise feel, that is good sorry yeah you yeah, have to find you the exercise feel that's good for you good. yeah for definite and and yeah, and it is it's literally like look, it's it's like you said, like like once you finish your workout, like you There's feel nothing that fucking compares. brilliant, right? Um right. You know what I mean? Like like you feel so much better. You're able to handle your emotions a bit better, you're able to think a little bit clearer. Like and now listen, now now for people in chat takes out of context, I'm not saying this works for everyone by any means. I completely understand that. But like for me and my experience of people are people around me that's kind of been the general kind of feedback is that like looking after yourself actually takes you a long 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 way in, in my personal opinion you know um big, big up Matt you know beer, i'm man. yeah big up Matt beer. um yeah so i i started like so like back in the last year i'm down like 20 kg which is really good. I like, remember seeing this man at like, um, like the first time I ever saw him at like one of the events. I remember what he looked like then, and I saw him at say even like I say GoFest for example. I was like, holy shit, my man is looking yeah. fresh. Yeah, man, I've been I've been grinding, been man. Grinding, like, and, and I, I I can tell you for sure that uh, chat he is a grinder. He tells me, oh, I'm going for a five k run. I'm not an athlete. Yeah. I couldn't run 5k. This man is like, I'm going for a 5k run. Like, I'm, I'm going for a 5k walk up a hill. This man yeah. is a grinder. It, it's because I've got like, just as a person, I'm quite like an obsessive person. So like, so if I, if I sit and I feel like I'm having a bad day, because obviously, you, you know, obviously, you know, we all have like our weaknesses. And you're allowed, like, I think you're allowed that. Yeah. And that's something you have to yeah, learn yeah, as well. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you're allowed sure. a bad and day. Like, yeah, and f for me, going out and working out and dealing with it in my head while I'm lifting whatever is infinitely better than sitting alone in my room and thinking about it. And it's worked for me, m like, massively. It's, it's worked for me in such a huge, huge way. Um, and it's, like, kind of same as you. It's kind of like a realisation. So when I first decided that I wanted to get into shape, I was like, right, I was like, right, I, I, I'm going to go for a run, and and I remember it vividly because it was like I don't think I ever felt so shit about myself in my life. I was like, right, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna do a run for a few miles, right, and you know just get started, yeah. mate. I, and I, I remember within like three and a half minutes, mate, I was fucking done for, and I carried on, and I think I got to like seven and a half minutes of really slow running. And I killed over and I was sick and I felt absolutely disgusted with myself that I'm like, like in my head, I'm like, at the time I was 28, I'm 28 years old. I can't run for like 10 minutes. And it was such a horrible feeling. I was like, no, I was like, this has to change. Like it has to change. So then, yeah, sign up to the gym. But you made a start like, in it. I think that's the hardest yeah, part. Yeah. You made so a you start. Have, yeah, for sure. Um, I, I'm just going to run to yeah, the toilet quickly. You, you carry yeah, on. on. I'll be two seconds. Yeah. Um, yeah, and you know, guys, like it, it, it comes down to a lot as well. Like, like you know, like, re like reach out to your your friends. You know, like, like I, I honestly, and I will say this to everyone. Obviously, I know not everyone can, but like, like looking after yourself physically has such a big link in to looking after yourself mentally. Um, you know, getting yourself into a good routine of you know, c kind of eating as well as you can, g going out, and you know. Uh, you know, going out, exercising, and kind of getting it done will will honestly work wonders for you. If, if, you know, in my personal opinion, uh, the big thing is starting it. And there's a there's a quote that I've heard that really like hits me really hard, like even to this day. And it's um, it's uh, it's discipline will always trump motivation, right? Because 
because it's easy it's easy to be motivated when you start and you see results kind of like quickly right but 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 that's only like because you're shredding like the excess weight that kind of falls off but but when you stop when you stop making that progress of working out and you don't see the changes that's where the discipline kicks in and and it's so easy to get to that stage and not be disciplined and you kind of go back to old habits and you just have to keep on going but unfortunately that then kind of ends up in in a in a vicious cycle of like especially if you're looking after yourself like especially for mental issues so you you start working out and you instantly start to feel better about your mental health because for me and I'm sure everyone does it kind of subconsciously when you work out I use that as my time to kind of clear my head I get you know I kind of get all my shit in order you know I I kind of the, the way I think about it is kind is kind of like it's kind of like a filing system and when I'm working out, I go for all the shit in my head and I kind of just throw away like the clutter, that stuff that, you know, stuff that I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, why have I even let that bother me so much? Right. But because I'm doing something and I'm actively facing it head on, it's easier to sort that out. And then from there, the stuff that is left are kind of the big things, you know, kind of stuff that like, you know, you're really insecure about that make you anxious, that make you scared, right? And when you're facing those head on, you've got no fucking choice, but you either fucking run at it or you turn back and you go back to, you know, go back to old habits. And for the majority of people, that is such a hard, hard thing to do. But, but like, like honestly, like, like it, you know, you know, obviously mental health, big fucking issue in, you know, these days and times. Like, go out, look after yourself. Eat, eat as clean as you possibly can. If you can go and exercise a, a little bit a week, go and do it. And I promise you, it will all start to add up, right? And, you know, because the world is the world is a scary place. Like, it really is. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of horrible people out there that don't want to see you do well, don't want to see you succeed. But if you don't go and do it for yourself, then no one will and and uh, um and again you know i'm just gonna say it because you know on here we say it how it is i genuinely do not believe that uh, we should be giving out these medications that are like that are like that are like receptive blockers to people and we kind of make them numb to the world and it, it and I, i've seen it so many times to friends around me who get put on these pills to make them happy and it just snowballs and it gets worse and worse and you need more and more and to me that is not healthy and and the problem is the further in they get harder it is to get them back you know so you That's know easy. like you know re- you know reach out to your friends your family go, like you know go out for a walk go, go out and enjoy the fresh air and the sunshine you know and, and, and embrace it you know you know you're not you're not as alone as you think you are like honestly and i think that's part of what we try and build on this podcast you know like even we have you know uh even we have guests on we try and get to know them you get to know people you you know you you make friends you know there are people out there who genuinely genuinely do care and and uh, honestly 50 percent of that is putting that first foot forward and and going you know in my opinion i think go on sorry um I mean, if you're done, I've got a few a few bits to add on to that, just because obviously I've been I went for a, a slash, but um, I think a lot of the time, a lot I, I like you can think I, I, it starts with I think you can social media is often sort of demonised, isn't it? And I think a lot of the time it can make your your person like your yeah. social media worse. But yeah, for sure. I think I've spent a lot of time, especially on TikTok, you get the, out the algorithm. To give you things that are positive, and I think I saw something last week that really resonated with me. It was some some country singer. So it was like, oh, the wind, the wind, the windshield is big bigger than the rearview mirror because what's in front of you is more important than what's behind you. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, that's it's, sick. It's and yeah, I go it's, back it's to that true. thing of yeah. which I think was sick. And I go back to that thing you were talking about taking antidepressants, and I have been someone who's been put on those before. And like it just, I was some zombie. It was madness. Yeah, 
I've yeah, never felt not... like it, I can't describe the experience to you. And I think, um, obviously, every experience is different, but I was just not me, and it was mad. Obviously, I was like, oh, maybe I don't feel sad anymore, but you don't feel anything, which is a madness. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, it's not right, you know. But then, you know, also, guys, on another note, and to anyone, anyone watching this live on Twitch or listening back on any platforms, right? Right, like honestly, like go onto your phones right now, like and you know, me- you know, me- message that friend who's a really good friend you're not spoken to a while, you know, and just ch- you know, checking on your friends, yeah, man. checking on, on your friends, you know, but at like, the same time, because uh, yeah, you, because sorry. you never know, you never know, dear, you never know if someone's having a really shitty day, and seeing that message like helps. I, I think that's why, like, like I, I definitely, I, I definitely feel like I try to be positive to everyone. I talk to everyone. I always check in on my friends, you know, because um, you know it's it's important, man. It's you know Definitely. stuff like that, man. You got to, you know, we've got to look important. out for each other, man. Yeah, and I think it's important if anyone's watching, if you're listening, that it's important to know you might not feel like it today, you might not have felt like it this week, but you are important in this world. You are valued and you are loved. You, like yeah, every, every one of you, you're a be- in the world is a better place with you in it. And I got deep yeah. real quick, but I promise you, I mean that from my heart. Yeah. And if you don't yeah, think no, anyone loves you. It me, me, Joseph Lee. He loves you. Yeah, big man. Important to me. Yeah, yeah, but no, it's true, guys. It's true. You know, and yeah, you know, just you know, look, you know, take care of yourself, and you know, don't, don't be scared to take take that first step to you know, you know, to looking after yourself and living living a better life. Like exactly. honestly, like. <sighs> I, as well, like one of the things for me that person really helped, really helped me when I went through my bad time, was the realization of there are a lot of people going through a lot worse shit than you are, and you're like, like it hurts, it fucking hurts a lot. But like, like doing that kind of it gives you the awareness to to be to well, it's it, it's the old saying, isn't it? It's be the change you want to Definitely. see in the world, yeah. right? You know, you know, just and to be fair, it, it you know, it's something we send this podcast often. It takes more effort to be a cunt than it does to be a good person. You know, be, you know, be a good person. Check in, check in on your friends. Make make new it friends. Costs, yeah, you know? it costs nothing to be kind yeah. in a and, world that is so full of yeah shit. It costs nothing to be kind, and I think yeah, a lot yeah. of the time, something that sits with me well a lot is it. It might feel like it's dark at the moment, but. It's not night time all the time. There's yeah, a no, day, there's, sure, a day but... on the, there's a day there's light on the way. Or if Thomas yeah, is, sure. don't you don't know. be a cunt, chat. Thanks, Thomas. Yeah, no, no, because no, it, it's true. Just you know, just, just don't be a cunt. I like, think Josh, we should drink. Like... We should drink to that man. That that was yeah, man, that got deep. That. Cheers, yeah, cheers, no, no, to chat. No, it's good. Cheers. Yeah, you know, we um, love you all. You know, no, no, because I think I it, I do think it's important to talk about, it, especially as especially as men. Yeah, because well, we it's are not young, some, it, it, young it, men. It, it's such a thing yeah. that you. It, it's not something that gets spoken about a lot. It's it's hard to talk about because there's so many like expectations of you, you know. Uh, you Mike, know you're... that you know. It wasn't you know, quite. And, it was uh, Mike. Sorry, he's yeah, just re- he's just redeemed the shot. Pick up yeah, the shot. Hey, no, 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 no. So Mike's redeemed the shot. Boo says to help line the mood. So to be honest, like. Like, like the, the mood, mood is like, but, the mood feels but you know, right. it, you know, yeah, but you know, it's, it's important to talk about it because it's, it's nice. And you know, so like, I've only known Joe like a short space of time, you know, and like, like I, I message Joe basically every fucking day now. We chat, right? we chat, like, like we chat, but yeah, I feel, you know, for me, it feels like we chat like we've known each other for a long time. Yeah, I, we, you, we say so, some outrageous stuff to each other, and it's just like, that's my bro, that's my boy, that's yeah, my brother. Yeah, yeah, you know, and you know, that, that, you know, that's the way it should be. That's that's always the way it should be. And, and I think also we've I harped on a lot about one step before we do the. I'm getting the shot for, but we harp on about um, oh, eat, eat healthy, exercise and stuff. But this is healthy as well. Sitting here, having a drink with your mates, all that stuff. You have to have some fun in your life as well. Within moderation. Moderation. Within yeah, you moderation. Know, we, we go back to the disclaimer. <laughs> go back to the moderation. disclaimer. <laughs> This podcast is solely for entertainment purposes. We do not advocate the overconsumption or abuse of alcohol. We do not promote binge drinking. He knows the rules. And, and all guests have the choice whether whether or not they want to consume alcohol. And it is. I have, uh, I have actually got Bailey's. And look how sick this yeah, glass perfect. is, Josh. So, big up, the, big up so, the skull. Yeah. So, guys, anyone else in chat? 
we'll Fill drink to that. Drink. We'll drink to to being together, happiness, life, all gin. of that. Cheers. Cheers. Bosh. Thomas called you mini me. That's great. Bro, I'm massive yeah. you. I'm massive me. What are you talking about? <laughs> but I'm on. Like, you know. That, that's it. Also, also, while we're here, Thomas, we're going to call you out while you're here. Me, to- me and Joe have been speaking about this. We spoke about this, right? We're calling you out, Thomas, right? He's calling right? out. Right? Right? We have called you out here because we, sp- we spoke about this, right? Thomas, North, North you, Star. me, and Joe... We're gonna do a charity run this year. All right, North Star, I'll All double right. up for you. Just for you, North Star, I've got some rum as well. I'll double up for you. Right, Thomas, you, me, and Joe are gonna do a charity run this fucking year. All right, it's gonna happen. Right, right, especially for you, Thomas, because you said Cheers, it's a North year Star. ascending. Right, right, we're gonna we are gonna raise some money for a good fucking cause. Right, that mate, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long it is, but we're gonna do it. Right, the three of us. Right, we're gonna wait. Do it. Mini triathlon. Matt, Matt, Matt. Easy. Matt, Matt, Matt. Easy. Easy. Wait, Josh, Easy. we can go swimming. We can do doggy paddle together. Yeah, straight up. Right? So, so everyone in chat, everyone in chat right now, at Thomas. Tell him he's going to do the, the Ibu Zhu yes. half marathon. The, yes. Look, tell, I, look at me. Tell Thomas I'm, I'm a big bastard, and I'll be doing the half marathon with Mr. Avalanche. Yes. Uh, we're we're going to do it for charity. We're going to raise some money for a great cause. We're going to do it together, man. Do it together. Because it goes know, back to that thing of doing it together, because you're not alone. That, that's it, man. That, that, that is it. it big up, I, big up li- the I, 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 mate, I genuinely, genuinely, like like I'm actually not even joking. We actually spoke about this this morning, right? Like I'll like whip out your old training diary, bro. We what we run in the years back about ten years. <laughs> right, hang on, let me get on. Hang on, I'm back in the office. Oh, he's oh, got, look! Look at him. He's got. He looks professional. Well, my t-shirt looks nice, though. Bro, it looks clean. Not as clean as the the tie, but yeah, yeah, I came, true. I came dressed true. to impress, innit? Yeah. Well, you you definitely impressed us, mate. Don't for anyone for uh, for anyone interested, I think the new move sets are available on GBL Pokemon now. I've just seen that go. Uh... Was so that any, out yesterday? Any G. Well, I've just seen it today. No, the new season starts at nine, but I think it's the moves have been pushed now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, Thomas, t- t- Thomas Young, we booze you. All we right? booze you, big man. Okay. So there is a there there is a Battersea half marathon, right? So so because now because now I'm finally not fucking injured, right? And I'm on my way back. It's on the twentieth of October this year. That's a long fucking time. We've got train. a long, long period of training. Look, I'm com- I'll yeah. commit. We'll right. send it, yeah. Right, straight, straight up, like, like, I, like, I will book our tickets to enter, like, right fucking now. We will do it. We're gonna raise money for a good fucking cause. All right. Send it. Uh, so, 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 sorry, I'm, I'm waiting for Thomas in the chat. Right, because, right, because do you know what? You know what? Because we're calling him out for this. We. We're calling you out, Mr. T. Young. In fact, so, so, someone in chat, so, someone in chat, clip this, right? Because we have it as proof, right? So, on the 20th of October, 2024, me, Joe, and Thomas Young will run a half marathon for charity. Clip it, ship it. He, you are a liar. You I'll are be, a and I'll post it on liar. TikTok. I'll post it on TikTok. Yes, you. As October, the t- as, October. As the TikTok admin, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Shout out, shout out, you man. But um, up, hey, to be fair, they're popping off recently. They look. I've watched them earlier. Mate, I was like, you know yeah, what? Yeah, I've yeah. done a good job mate, of them, mate. Honestly, you have. Like they've been added. So, so for anyone who, uh, yeah. So, so, oh, so Thomas, for anyone I'd who, ra- is... I'd, I'd rather not run a half marathon, Thomas. But here I am. It's for charity. Yeah, man. That's it, man. We're gonna do it for charity. That that's the main thing. Like, yeah. So, guys, for anyone in here who doesn't know. Big Man Joe has been brought on board to help us with our socials. Uh, he's editing all our TikToks uh, and YouTube shorts. And, mate, they've been doing well. They've been doing well. Like, bro bro is hitting the matter. Josh gives, me the, Josh gives me the vision and I deliver. He, yeah, it, we, 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 we discuss the meta. Like, Thomas discusses the, the po- play Pokemon meta. Me and Josh discuss the TikTok meta. TikTok meta. What's going to bang? What's going to bang? And we're like, yeah. cap- captions are going to bang, bro. Yeah. 
Oh, right. Okay, right. Well, I've done that. I need to ask, what is your obsession with a fucking Rashford? Because I saw it at least a hundred times in Liverpool. Um, at I don't least. actually know. Do you know what? I saw Jay the Underdog do it first. <laughs> and then I just started doing it. It's just that thing of it was just funny. And then everyone was like, oh, do the Rashford. And it just became like a... <laughs> I like a default pose, you know what I mean? <laughs> Bros in Fortnite, fucking just doing that. I was pose. literally, I was hit, every time anything I do, I do anything. I'd hit the fucking emo. I'd be like, yeah, no, because so it was. What day was it? I think it was the Sunday in Liverpool, right? Right, it was Sunday in Liverpool, and every time I turned around, you were doing it, and I just looked at Thomas, and I was like, I was like, why does he keep doing that? <laughs> like, like. I'm, I'm like, is Joe just broken or something like that? Like, I think by Sunday I actually was broken. To be fair, like I had hey, same here, same fucking hell. Any um, pick, Mike? You're lucky to have any pictures of me, man. You're you should have, you yeah, should value yeah. those pigs. But yeah, fucking. Oh, okay. So hang on. So as we're coming up to trial, Mark, we do need to get into this. Uh, Joe, as you know, we do have a segment for all of our guests where we ask them their most their most embarrassing. Or best drunk story. Oh, and... Dale Tunami. <laughs> Good evening, Thomas. Hello, I'm Thomas today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I actually yeah. was it's like I, I it's like I've seen the podcast before because I knew this segment was coming. And I, I sent Josh part of the story earlier. Like yeah. a, a part of the story. Man was like, I spat my drink everywhere. I was like I didn't expect it. This your bang. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, so we're going into my drunk my best drunk story, yeah. Yeah, go on. Yeah. To be fair, I've got, I thought of two actually. Right. I've got this one. There's a picture of, and I have actually got a Pokemon later one, which is a little bit more mid. So I feel like I should get the mid one out of the way, and then we'll save the yeah. good shit for last, right? Yeah. So. Well. And it involves Thomas as well. This Pokemon story. So. Go on. So last, uh, so before Battle Frontier was a thing, big up Sylph. We were in. A, Thomas was in our faction. Big Essex up Tengu's shout. Out. Um, yeah, ex- he knows the rules. Yeah, you know. And uh, <laughs> Thomas was Thomas. Thomas was our master league specialist for a season because we just we just get big names in like that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> and he is the last. Thomas. Thomas was Mister Clutch himself. He was Mister Ice. He was Mister Ice in the veins. He was always giving it that. He was always giving it ice in the veins. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Go on. And he scheduled his... He was always the last... But he usually was the last bout. And we were playing some other yeah. team. I can't remember the team. And he was like, I need to... We, he needed to go 3-0 to, for us to win us the bout. He scheduled his bout for like... Midnight or maybe like 11pm. He knows the story. Team Phantom. Well, no, 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 no. That's the wrong story. No, no, no. That was when I was in another country. No, 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 no. It's not the Team Phantom story. It's when I... And whoever it was... Thomas was like, oh, yeah, I'm going live now. Do you know where I was? Where? Carrying my friend home from the pub because he was drunk. <laughs> Jesus. What? I was carrying what? him home. I was what, like, so we guy, talking like, like friend over the shoulder, phone in the other hand. No, fine, I, it took two of us to carry this bastard home. I was like, <laughs> yeah, someone's well. going ha- someone's gonna to have to take over the duty. Because I've got to watch a Pokemon game, bro. I get my phone. I get. I get my phone out like this. I'm walking along the streets of Billericay, watching the watching the thing. My man, I'm, I'm watching him. I'm absolutely obliterated out of my mind. We're all really fucking drunk. I'm watching him deliver a masterclass in in Master League. By the way, I'm standing here watching him. At one point, he just what demolishes him. All right, cool. Next game. Again, two demolishes him. Man goes 3 0, and I'm drunk. I'm like, wow. Wow. <laughs> I remember it because I've recorded it as well. Man was like, can you record the game for me? I've got my friend slung over my, uh, my shoulder one way, and I'm like, wow, Thomas, you're so good at Master League. In the other hand, <laughs> I'm literally walking around. Absolutely, I can't even see properly. I'm like, wow, you're so good at the game. This is so cool. <laughs> so we've good. won. So we've good. won the. We've won the bout. Wow. Nah, big up Thomas. He he did bits when he was on the team. Thomas Young is actually him. Yeah, he, he actually was saying. that that cycle. He was him. He literally was like. He was ice cold. He literally gave it this every every bout. He ice in the veins. <laughs> he was ice in the veins every game. Yeah. 
And that's like the funny. Yeah, he did. Man, Thomas, you cooked every time, bro. I tell you that. Yeah. You know you cooked. That was the Pokemon <laughs> story. You want this one, don't you? Where I'm yeah. the, with the yeah, picture. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, <laughs> okay, yeah. so, but I feel like I had to get the Pokemon in just to keep it tied yeah. into the pod, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. So, picture this. <laughs> it's just after, like, that period of time where COVID has just sort of not become a thing. Yeah. You can go and see your mates. You can go and do whatever. No one's really done anything for a long time. Yeah. All right, sick. <laughs> bro just started buffering someone clip that please someone clip that bro bro just started buffering please it's because I was reading <laughs> I was reading that. chat bro, just bro, I was reading chat and I was about to just start just reading started, do you know what I had started to started buffering <laughs> I had my sentence I had my sentence and then Thomas said man's coming like Santan Dave and I forgot what I was going to say but Covid, all that stuff. My friends like, oh yeah, sick. Let's get together. What can we do? I know what's really sick to do. My friend goes, let's do a poker night. All right, cool. I ain't got a clue how to play poker. To be fair, <laughs> I do a quick Google. It'll be fine. It starts off nice. We're having a little bit of a chilling. We actually do play poker. Look, a few bevs, like like we're doing here. We're sitting here with a few light bevs. Play a few games of poker. Learn how to play all of that stuff. And one of my friends is like. This is boring. I was like, oh yeah, it's it's it was funny it was funny after a while. But do you want to play Ring of Fire? You know Ring of Fire, oh, don't you? Oh god, yeah, yeah, of course I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This story is already, is already so so, so you do you want to explain what Ring of Fire is to So Ring of Fire it, it is it is a drinking game. So it, so we went from playing poker, which is quite a like I f- I'd say it's quite sophisticated. Yeah, yeah. Or well, more more sophisticated than Ring of Fire, anyway. Yeah, of course. And then, yeah, well, that's and then at this point, there's a glass. So you put a glass, empty glass, in the middle of the table, and you put a pack of cards around it, and you take it in turns pulling cards out of the ring. Yeah. And each card has a different like effect. Me. Like, you you have to do something different for each card, but each like each card has something to do with drinking. But the ultimate one is if you pull that. Is it the king or the queen that you put in the middle? King's it's, cup. It's king's cup, isn't it? Yeah, king's cup. Yeah. So if you pull the king, you have to pour some of your drink into the cup in the middle. But obviously, yeah. we think we're fucking hilarious, so we just put like straight spirits and whatever. Oh, this is fine. This whatever. So there's vodka in it. There's gin yeah. in it. All that sort of stuff. And there's like it's a pint glass as well, and it's filled to the top. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah. Uh, first time round. I'm the silly bastard who pulls the last king. And for those oh. of you who don't know, when you pull the last king, you have to down what's in the king's cup. Yeah. So it's like, Jesus. it was ropes. It was like, here is vodka, gin, Jägermeister. That was the one, that was the, the lethal one, Jägermeister. Like, just a nasty mix. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like a Jager. classic, Rank. classic nasty mix. The first one, a down or right, I feel okay. Like it starts to go to your head a bit, and you know you, when you start to feel a little bit drunk, you're like, "Way, yeah, yeah. Wait, all yeah, right, yeah. all right, cool, let's send it again." This stupid fuck gets King's Cup again. Oh no! Oh, and they no. made it worse <laughs> that time. People were pouring in all sorts. They're like, "Oh yeah, my drink is fifty vodka, fifty gin." There was so many spirits in there, like it was like ridiculous. It literally yeah. could have been paint stripper. <laughs> yeah. I down it and I feel alright for a bit and and what happens in the in between is a bit of a blackout I don't really know yeah it hits me and we're chilling we have the rest of the evening but I tell you what I get to the morning and and and, I I need to put the image on screen now don't I yeah go on Um, on, um, I wake up like this (laughs) man wakes up outside (laughs) Look at me. I literally slept the whole night on the grass. The grass. Wait. Oh, my God. Like that. I woke up like that. And to be fair, bless my friends, because look at them. They put a blanket on me. No, 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 no. Hang on. Not bless your friends. They left you outside. Why did they not pick you up and move you inside? Well, at least they put a blanket on me. I, I give them <laughs> Have you ever thought of it like that? There's two weeks you, to look you... it in there. Mate, mate, have you never just been like, 
Why did I you not just look at the, put me on the floor inside? Well, I mean, if you look at the cups around me, it, it looks like I weren't moving anywhere anyway. Yeah. But like two, yeah. lot, two lots of King's Cups. Yeah. I, I, I was, I'm lucky it was the summer, to be fair, because I wasn't <laughs> cold. And can I just say, we all dressed up for the poker night as well, so I would have looked a bit like this. I would have had the shirt and the tie on. <laughs> look at me. Yeah. My God, wait! Man, man falls asleep in the garden like it's nothing. Wait, your mates have done you dirty, now. like, like genuinely speaking. The, like the your mates have done thing you is, dirty. My, they've been my friends since like since young, since I was primary school. These boys yeah. have been my friends since I was five, yeah. and they've just left me outside like that, you know. Mate, mate, if I woke up like that after being in that state playing cards with my friends, and I'm outside, I'm looking my mates down the eyes and going. Why did you not just? I just think it's perfect. Throw me on the floor. There's, cu- there's, there's those cups around me. Yeah. I, I, no, I, I, I haven't got any shoes on. I literally stumbled right. out. I literally have stumbled outside. For me, the funniest part is I've managed to sleep next to the washing line. Yeah, it's funny. Yeah. So, so okay. So my question is: Was you sick? I don't think I was. I'm not really. A, I'm not really a, when I'm drunk. When I've had a lot to drink. I, I'm yeah. not really a thrower upper, so I've literally have just gone outside and gone. I want to let Van said a thrower upper, you know. <laughs> I want to. I'm like. I want to. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not one. I'm not one to chun. But I just went. Out, I must have gone outside and gone, boys. I want to. said a... I need. I'm not a thrower upper. Boys, <laughs> I want to sleep. Look at me. I'm like. Yeah. It's time for a nap. Oh. Yeah, yeah. To be fair, the cups outside are great. Well, that's what two cups and a can. I, I, well, I must have. Con- I must have continued after King's Cup to just want to send it. Oh, I was like, to, to be fair, all I could possibly think of is you've gone right. I need some fresh air, and then just gone outside to get some fresh air, and that was just it. The fresh air hit different, so I just was. Yeah. I was I'll stay here. Yeah, yeah. To be fair. That's- yeah, no, that's, that is a long, long fucking day, man. That, like, is, that is funny. To be fair, I don't really I, throw up either when I'm drunk. I actually have a bonus. I do have a bonus story if we want it. Go on. It's Go like on, an extra me. funny one. This was a uni a uni day story. Yeah. I, 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 I got drunk, whatever. Uh, and I... Uh, obviously, I so I lived in a house of 14 people. So there's quite a lot of people there. And it was yeah. someone's birthday, so there was like, oh, people, like, oh yeah, we'll invite people out and stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got with my housemate's sister, and they weren't very pleased about it. <laughs> Bro, just drop. I did not expect that to be with the Wait, Josh, Josh, story. I'm not. I can't. I can't. I, I won't put the photo on on the stream. But after the stream, I'll show you. The photo is ropes. It is ropes of what I end up looking like. I'm covered oh, in. No. Thomas, she was older than me, big man. I I checked the age for time. I sent I sent I sent the sister like it was no one's business. And the worst part of all of it is, I had to go to work the next day. So I'm like, oh, who are you? Like I'm like, yeah, I need to go to work. See you later, boss. <laughs> Just fist bumper, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cheers for the new house. No, Thomas, it was all right. It was all right. It was a girl. It was a girl. It was my girl. It was like someone like a girl. So it's not that idea. It's not my boy's sister. Um, I was like, yeah, but like she just kept coming round. So like it, all the, every time she'd come round, I'd be like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, it's mate. fine. It's totally fine. Don't worry. Oh, mate. That is fucking horrible. I feel like there's, there's, there's like, I thought, I think I provided there three sort of good stories that have different elements yeah, no, to them. It, it, Mike, if you, Mike if, if you think I'm going for two seconds, you've really overestimated my potential. She got 0. Yeah. 0. <laughs> 0. 0.25 seconds and that was it, big man. Bro's called Fast and the Furious. They call me Lightning McQueen because I'm fast yeah. and fast. Quicker than quick. Fast as fuck. Oh, mate, that's fucking quality, man. Jesus Christ, that man. Was... That's un- unreal for you. Guys. I had a few, yeah. Oh. Mate, I need to go get another beer, man. Fucking hell, I've Big up the sand Do you know what? I'm actually yeah. on. To, I, I, when I finish this beer, I'm on to the rum and coke. The, the, not even. Do you know what? Actually, I feel like we should mention this. 
on Monday when we had games night. What was I drinking, Josh? What did I tell you I was drinking? Right. So uh, okay. So 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 for anyone who doesn't know, right, in Thomas's Discord, like, <laughs> like you know, you, you know, we're you know we're we're boys. We're boys. So. So we kind of decided that, like, right, we're going to do games night. So we were playing, like, Jackbox, Gartic Phone. And bear in mind, this is a Monday, right? A fucking Monday, right? And so so I start drinking. I'm like, hey, Joe, man, like, are we getting on the fucking beers or what? And he's like, oh, I got none in. Like, I've only got spirits. So I'm like, yeah, go on then. Bro's drinking Ray and Nephews on a Monday night. And I'm like, I'm like, mate, I'm like, that is... That is hardcore. Like, like even by my fucking standards. In know, my defence, there was nothing else about. And you had mince pie gin, right? No, that was from raid out. That was from the raids on Sunday. Oh, we're, getting, uh, we're, dig- yeah. we're digging up previous law now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, the raid nephews was because there was nothing else left. Like you were like, get the drinks in, and I'm not. But like, despite what I what what I the the. Pre- the perspective I yeah. may have given the stream, I'm actually not that big of a drinker. Like I drink, yeah. like when we go out for social and stuff, but I don't go. Oh, I'm going to come in and have a beer. Yeah. So like, oh, yeah. I, hey, I, 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 it's all it's all or nothing. It's like all I always go all or nothing. So it's like I'm either going to have nothing, or if we're sending it, we're sending it. Yeah. Because I don't see the point in going. Oh, I'm going to have a beer when I get in from work. Obviously, you do you, and if that's what you feel like you want, go for it. But. I'm either in or I'm not in. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, well, it's it. To be fair, it's like a, it, it. It's kind of like, it's it's kind of like it's one of the TikToks I saw, and it's um. So it's not so much a thing in America. It's more like a UK thing. Like 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 once you finish work and uh, uh and you message your mate, you're like oh oh, do you fancy going for a beer? Sorry, I'm just going to stop you for one second. The North Star has made a good point. If you are a GBLR in ten minutes time. If you're in the Twitch chat, of course, not if you're on Spotify. <laughs> That's get, what I was just to get, say. Your, get your star piece on. Get your star yeah, piece yeah. on. Yeah, mate, that's what I was just about to say. I, I, I'm like, I'm like, people listen to this back and be like, fucking hell. If you're listening back, I need to put a fucking... if you're if you're listening yeah. back, don't put a star piece on. Yeah, but, yeah, I love, yeah. but I love you. There you go. Yeah, fucking ignore it. Ignore it. Um, fucking hell, you completely throw me off where I am now. Where was I? You're oh, always yeah, your yeah. piece. So, so, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll so, waste your piece. Yeah, so it's like, um, yeah, so it's like, it's, it's something people say to you, oh, do you fancy going, going, for, fancy going for a pint? And it's like, don't ask me if I fancy going for a pint. We're either, like, having it's 10, 10 pints or, or we're not, right? Or, or, or nothing. Because what's the fucking point otherwise? You know when they say it's nerf really or nothing? Stuff. It's literally that. Yeah. It's, you have a, it's like, it's like we said, it's the sure. year of the full send. When we... When the year when twenty twenty four started, me and Thomas sent each other is the year of the full send, isn't it? Yeah, I, I, well, I mean, I mean, I mean. To, to, to be fair, you you're both doing that pretty well. To be fair, like you know, uh, you know, it, it, if I'm being honest, you're both doing that pretty well. We've got we've definitely got a lot of plans. Um, we're cooking. We are cooking. Yeah, chat chat are, has to trust are, us that we are cooking. cooking. Yeah, sure, man. Um, yeah, man. Oh, fucking hell, man. We're nearly two hours as well. Fucking hell. Um, right, I might have to go grab my last bev. Yeah, go on, go on, go on. And then we'll just carry on for a little bit. Right, so so it's probably been like 50 minutes or so since the last one. So, I, just, I think we need to thank you know, everyone for being here, for like, yeah. for being, yeah, yeah, for yeah, being yeah, here this long. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Anyone who has been here, anyone who's listened to me, Josh, just ramble. Because a lot of this has been off the cuff. Me and Josh were like, we're gonna send it. We're just gonna put the podcast together. We have a, li- a few bullet points here that we want to talk about, but we've just sent it. So, like, freestyled it. So, anyone who sat here and listened to us, we appreciate you a lot. Look, I'll give you a. There you go. Love you, chat. So, my question to chat is why Josh is gone. Who's excited for Shadow Beauty? Look at him. I mentioned Wailing Raids, and the man himself appears. Yeah, North Star. Send it, bro. He's it, uh... Thomas, Thomas has enjoyed his week off. All right, he's enjoyed his week off and said great stuff, boys. So at this point, I think we can say respectfully, Thomas. We hope you do well. Wait, so t- Thomas, are you not like at a social in Utrecht now? So to be fair, we're kind of going against what what we said. So for anyone, 
anyone who's in Twitch, you can consider this kind of like a Twitch off track exclusive. episode because yeah, yeah. oh, because me and Thomas said that like we'd try and interact with Twitch less because it makes no sense to anyone listening back on Spotify or but Apple. This episode, the, this episode is so roped. It's like yeah, it's well, off it, the rules. It, yeah, it's still going up. It's still going up. It's still counts. Still counts. You know, mate, this is such a good drop of beer, man. I, I so I, I've ordered this like in. So, so we'll have some for uh, get the beers. We'll have some for uh, uh, yeah, we've had some for uh, for EYC. Oh, look at him! He knows how to look after us. Joe's here as a substitute teacher. Mike, yeah. you wish I was a substitute teacher, mate. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, it's been well. Yeah, it, it's been a good start. I can't believe we're in March already. By the way, right? Like, what the fuck? Nobody is getting on it, so I'll get on it tomorrow. So Thomas, Thomas, is go to Thomas the bar watching... and have a fucking beer with go us. After. Go and right. have a beer with us. Right. In, in fact, you're not right. Right. Get the beers in right fuck, now. Right, right, get down to right, the beer. Yeah. Right. Fuck what I said before. Right. Right. Here's the plan for after this episode. Okay. Right. Uh, and to be fair, this is an ad- this is an advertisement to join Thomas's Discord. After we finish this podcast, right, right, all of us will jump in Discord and we'll have a fucking drink together. All right. We'll just fucking hang out and just vibe. All right. So yes, yes, Joe. So yes, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah bro, bro is just buffering. <laughs> bro is just. Bro, you uh, know just... me. I'm the. I just buffer. Like sometimes I just I have that yeah, dial-up true. internet head. <laughs> Your head is. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, that's great. He's um, got some tins for fuck's sake. Man's got tins on the whole well, day. That's fucking amazing. But can um... I say the the funniest thing was I was when I was at work. And he was like, it, it left a bad aftertaste in my, or a ple- bad aftertaste in my mouth. I was like, I'll leave you a pleasant aftertaste. <laughs> yeah, oh, gee, yeah, for fuck's sake, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, for anyone who doesn't know, me, me, Tom, and Joe have uh, the uh, uh, the IBSU admin chat. And yeah, there's, there's a lot of banter that goes on in there, to be fair. There's no work being uh, done. There is li- there is no work being done. It's just. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah, just, right, it's right, just right. Free, free lads chatting shit. Yeah, man. But yeah, man. But that's that's, that's kind of the point we, of it, right? That's like, how we get things yeah. done. That is how we get things done. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I'm sure Joe said it, you know, while I was gone. But genuinely, thank you everyone so much for listening. Like, it means the world. Like, and we like, you know, obviously we know it's not all about numbers, and blah blah, whatever. Like at all, it's not. But it's been so nice to see, like, how people have like taken to to watching. Uh, the podcast and kind of getting involved, chatting with us, listening to us, talking in Discord. Like me and Thomas have had people like asking us, like, "Oh, are you know, uh, uh, are you casting this week? You know, I want to listen." Like, it's been really like heartwarming to know that you know people people can kind of get behind this. Well, we so we kind of spoke a lot about Pug on this episode, but we tried to not because obviously there's more to life. But it sort of happened. That, like, I think we. Yeah. We just sort of we were like we'll freestyle this. It's sort of whatever happened happened, isn't it? Yeah. But then, like one of the things that we're trying to build, like within the brand, is kind of a community where everyone can get together. Because, uh, and to be fair, it's kind of part of us being British. So obviously, we know not everyone drinks, but being British, drinking and having friends kind of goes hand in hand, right? Like God save our like, grace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you know, it's, it's kind of like there's nothing. There's nothing better for the soul than getting together with the boys, girls as well, obviously. Yeah, um, girls, and, girls, yeah. girls, boys, they, them, anything you want to yeah. be. As long mate, as you're here mate, for, mate, a, as long as you're here for a full set, we welcome. love you. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, like you know, we uh, are inclusive of everyone. Yeah. We're an inclusive community. Yeah, you know, we like, just want you here for the set. Everyone is welcome. So, Joe, I think that's probably a good time to wrap it up. So, because you that, so I'm going to say now, if you're hours. in chat. Uh, yeah, if you're in chat, you want to have a drink with us. I'm about to do a, a little toast. Uh, everyone, let me just pour out. Your let, glasses, me just pour out. let me just fill my glass, bro. Because crack I'm out, open. I've cracked. I've done them already. So I just need to pour out a yeah. rum and coke. Yeah, crack open your tinnies and whatnot. You know. Uh, so, Joe, uh, as you well know, a, a ongoing tradition for this podcast is we always ask our guest to recommend someone they would like to see on. Podcast. Who would I like to see on the podcast? Oh. So, so, so you think about it as we have a drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. Go, Let's have cheers. a drink. Cheers, cheers, uh, cheers, Josh, chat cheers, chat. And Tom, everyone, cheers, thank everyone. you for having me. Chin chin.
Bro, I fully thought you were about to back that entire wrong coat. I'm not going to lie. I can. All right. Bro, bro, my man. No, no. I just, my man just ate that fucking drink. No, there he goes. One of our own. He's one of our Wait. own. His name is Joe. He's one of our own. All right. <laughs> I, I'm going to say, Uncle Mystic, I boost you. Mate, that is that is a quality call. That is actually a really good call. That 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 will be a good one. So he is the goat, the goat yeah. of got the goat of Gosport. Get him in. So yeah, Uncle Mystic, you, we you, you have been chosen. If I had a Pokeball, I would throw it at my camera, like Thomas did. But I do not. Unfortunately, the only one I have is a really expensive one. I'm, I'm not, not throwing this. It's made of glass. But Uncle Mystic, I boost you. Wait, wait. I don't think I've shown. Get your ball, get your balls out, mate. I am, I am. I, I did count. Get your balls but, out. I don't know if you've seen seen these. Look at oh, he's got. Look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Look at his balls. How cold is that one? Like, it, you, all right, it needs battery in it. But yeah, these these are cold with a light under it as well. That is cold. Cold. Banging. But yes, so we've absolutely. To be fair, we've just done two hours there, bro, man. Yeah, man, that's it. We've smashed it. That's it, and that is considering. Can I? Fast can I just? Is. I'll be honest with everyone in chat. We didn't have any bonus points for this. A lot of this has been off the cuff. No, we did. We did. Don't lie. The spreadsheet has points in it. Yeah, right? but not not enough to get us through two hours. I was worried. No, no, no. mate. We could. The game, innit? Yeah, but game is game, exactly. Yeah, like, North Star makes a good point. If you are live, star piece on. Not right now. Should I do it right yeah. now? Just to should we do it right now? Just to uh, I have. I've just done it now. So it's done. I'm gonna do it now. Um, we're gonna we're gonna put our star pieces on. Yeah. And we're gonna claim our GBL Stardust. I didn't hit legend. You got yet, the legend reward. I, I gave up. Next season you will. Hundred percent. Yeah, you I'll cook next season, percent. I promise. Hundred fucking percent. Um but yeah, so guys. We're gonna head into Discord now. We're gonna be I'm gonna, in. Uh, Josh, who should we raid? Chat. How do how do I even do? Hold on. Uh, isn't it slash raid? Uh, we should slash Jenity. Uh, Gen E B. Send me the link. Send me the link. Uh, send you the Jenny, link. Jenny, Jenny, what's it called? Spell it. Uh, uh, G. Uh, sorry, sorry. J E N N E H E. Oh, I've got it. I've got N-N. it. I've got it. Chat, yeah. we're going to go and read yeah. Jenny. Is, he a, is, they, is she a friend of yours? Yes. Yeah. Jenny friend is of, great. Friend, of, friend of the channel, in. Jenny. She is a f we're going to go and read her. She looks like she's uh, grinding the new season. So we're going to see what the new season yeah. has for us. Honestly, yeah, guys. Uh, and, and guys, for anyone who wants to come hang out with me in Discord. But guys, this has been episode 24 of uh, you know uh, fucking hell bro i just started buffering it's been episode 24 of i booze you shout out to anyone live in the twitch chat shout, shout out to, chat. to the spotify listeners <laughs> yeah. the apple music listeners the youtube watchers big, the up, YouTube big, up, big up 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 everyone we big are up. gonna be back up, live again Tom. friday the 8th friday the 8th at 9 p.m service resumes as normal thank you all so much for watching thank you very much can I just love say, guidance. big up Josh and Tom for having me. It's been a pleasure. I'm sure I'll appear at some point. Everyone, you are loved. Have a lovely evening.